YouTube. How's it going? It's Carrie's birthday. Say hello, Carrie. Hello, Carrie. <laughs> She's crying. It's Be been a day, man. I'm allowed to cry. Mm -hmm. She got a birthday gift that she really liked. So on top of everything else. Mm hmm Yeah. Oh my but god. But yeah, welcome back everybody to the play we're playing some monster camp today. Basically a baby Canadian now. A, a <laughs> babe Nadian. I'm a babe Nadian. Quite the babe Nadian. I think. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. oh shit. Oh shit. Alright. Oh, uh, Carrie oh. wanted to play this game today because it is her birthday and she gets to pick what well tomorrow's well, our birthday tomorrow's my birthday but this is the closest stream to my birthday so we're being yeah. all like woo Carrie buddy Carrie buddy yeah I still get to abuse oh. you though because it is that, not your birthday no. yet no mm -hmm. no yes okay well if okay if that's the case then that means you need to be so nice to me tomorrow on my birthday. We'll see. I'll make you <laughs> fucking suffer. Like I'm talking, I'm gonna make you watch Pride and Prejudice fucking levels of suffering. Uh, <laughs> all right, Carrie, you're player one. Uh, who do you want to be? <gasps> uh, my flame girl. I am a lie. What's your name? Oh shit! What is my name? <gasps> Call me Birde. Birde? How do you spell Birde? Birde. B U R R. Day. And it can it can be day or it can be D A I. It fucking type first choice. There you go. Boop. Hey. Yee. Yeah. All right. What you want, girl? Would you like okay. very strong insect so, repellent? Oh my god! We were supposed to decide what fucking routes we were going for while Aaron was in the kitchen, and we didn't. Yeah. Well. Um. Uh, fuck. Okay. It's too late now. You you <laughs> said you said that we had the genie flask, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to go for the Damien secret ending with the fake genie flask. So I gotta okay. just be on Damien's route, and he fucking, you know. Would you like a likes... blade blade then? How could? What are the stats for the blade blade? Let me how can find the. I think it's bold and fun. I think so too, but I'm going to double check because this is too risky to fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big goddamn deal. I need deal. the stats. I, I need the stats. I, I, I need them. I just, I, I need stuff. Mm -hmm. I could. Oh, it's been a minute since the recording started. Hey, so in the comments, everyone, just make sure to tell Carrie nice cock. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Do that thing. One second, I'm trying to fucking find it on the wiki. Oh. Thank you for the $6.05 there, Fluffy Stuff. Uh, Fluffy Stuff says, happy birthday. Nice cock. Uh, you've, do ye. you've done an adequate job accepting compliments this year. Now to work on accepting your own accent. <laughs> Keep rolling that one. Listen. <laughs> the nat ones, you cute bitch. Fucking listen, okay? I have a character who has my accent. I'm, I'm doing fine with that shit, okay? You have a character who has a light accent. It's true. Yeah. But if it was any thicker, they wouldn't understand her, so it needs yep. to be that way. Also, the blade blade is bold and fun. You are correct. Okay, what other items are there? Uh, very strong insect repellent. Let me scroll down, see what that is. Very, 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 very strong insect repellent is bold and charm. Okay, there's bold in there. Uh, Maybe. Do you want it? I'm looking at the other items and trying to figure out if any of the Sleeping other ones Sleeping beauty bold. bag. Um, that is charm so that's all charm chest two i imagine that's smarts. probably smarts yeah probably uh, all smarts let's check instant chest post two camera is fun and smart oh okay instant, instant post, post camera. camera that is creative and charm so i don't want none of that shit none of that shit mm -hmm. build your own golem. golem smart and creative i don't want any of that shit recorder recorder they're creative and fun. Well, I want one of those things. Hmm. Uh, North facing moss. Smart and bold. Um, there is bold in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, I'm thank you for the twenty dollars, there, Sam Sony. Uh, birthday okay. monies for Carrie. Thank you for brightening up my shitty day. Aww. Oh. 
I'm, I'm sorry, sorry you had a shitty social day, media. so I yeah. could have a wonderful day because I've had a great day. <laughs> like, Floral crown revoked and praises Carrie's nice cock. Wow. Hell <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's all I ever wanted. Yeah, this episode's going to be demonetized, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably. Hacking the sock puppet is fun and creative, so I think I want the insect thing. Okay. Yeah. That one, and it was the north facing moss. The other thing was bold, right? Uh, I think it was smarts and bold. I think so too. Double check it also. Yeah, smart and bold. So it bolds in there, but it's a lesser stat. Okay. Still. You want that? Yeah, let's go with that. All right. Eep. All right. Now, I will be. Noodles. Of course you will be noodles. Yeah. Really, I had no idea when he swapped the character model at the very beginning. <laughs> You're fucking right. <laughs> what? No, it was just like that. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's me, noodles. It's me, noodles. <laughs> Show me your noodles. Uh. I need to not look at this art. I looked at it and I started welling up again. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so cute. All right, who am I? Dan, it's so good. Thank you so much. Who will buy, who will I be acquiring? Because mm. mm. like almost all of the secret endings need the fucking genie flask, but there is. Uh, Wasn't there an Arabi um, one that? There's an Arabi one that requires a glass of curse, which mm. I don't know if we have. I don't think we do. Ooh. Hmm. Heck. Uh, I mean, there's also like the hex version of the bagel secret ending that you might end up on. Like an eagle. Or as they say in French, <laughs> le nude. <laughs> le nude. <laughs> do we, do we have to unlock the playable fridge? How do we unlock the playable fridge? What? what? How do you unlock that? Are there any cheats to finally get joy? We don't fucking know, man. I don't know. It's giving up on that shit. I don't care anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fuck that. All right, Aaron, who do you want to be? Coin. If it's sex, I'm blue. If it's no cash value, I'm yellow. Okay. Oh. No cash value, I'm yellow. All right. Do you want to be Fuck mummy yeah. or the shadow? Shadow. All right. What's cute. your name? Mm-hmm. Chungus. Perfect. Right. I like it. Shame. Chungus. All right, what do you want? You want that bootleg Juan, that sketchbook, that bootleg Juan, obviously, of course, of course, yeah. Griffin Pasta, the Magic Sword of War. Guide. Do you what? want to know what any of these the are? Magic Shroom, no. <laughs> <laughs> Magic, Magic Shroom Sh Field Guide. Okay. Uh, and uh, fucking, uh, what's the top middle one? What's it called? The top middle, the sketchbook. What's a sketchbook? Just that's all it's called. Okay. Yeah. Uh, fuck that. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna flip a coin. If it's sex, Scott snacks. If it's no cash value, total legit title. Cool. Hell yeah. Sex, Scott snacks. <laughs> all yeah. right, Scott snacks. Fun. All right. Fucking skip this. And skipping. What? Crazy. All right. <clears throat> Look at all these people. You can you could do the sex with them. You oh, can boy. do it all these people. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. Which of these um, articles would you most want to read? Very legal things I do while in international waters. Uh, 50 facts about sequoias. Uh, common mistakes when performing your first fertility ritual. Uh, my deep complex feelings about uh, cam camembert. Yeah, camembert. Camembert. It's a cheese. No, that's a bert. How to head a very I'm big rock. Right <laughs> you know I mean? Shut the fuck up, God damn it. No, I mean. <laughs> Secret tricks to win at rock, paper, scissors. Uh, oh, so that's right. name? Yeah, it's you. Hacking very illegal things. <laughs> oh, while in nice waters. Obviously, I cry. Oh, fucking weird, yeah, man. Who are you looking for? Fucking, yes. I don't know. Um, You know what? Hmm. Let's fucking go for joy. Really? Let's Maybe do it. Utility ritual? Uh, uh, can't wait. Most like to read. Uh, common peacocks mistakes when performing your first fertility ritual is joy. Common peacocks mistakes. It says peacocks here. <laughs> That's weird. 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> the word peacocks is in here. <laughs> All right. All right, Chungus. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, Rock, shit. Rock, paper, scissors. Who, what, who could have foreseen this? <clears throat> All right, Birde, you're going after what? Damien. Oh, my God. I can't move Fuck on. yeah. I read that article. It's awesome. Why are you looking at me like that? Did you not think I would read an, ar an article? I read sometimes. I just don't read lame shit like textbooks or traffic signs. Well, but very illegal things I do in international waters. Now that's a great laundry list I can enjoy reading. Birdie. Of course I do. Are you lying to me? Birdie, you should talk more about all the shenanigans we get up to in international waters <laughs> when we get to camp. Sure, bitch. All right, Joy. Son of a bitch, right? I love that article. I consulted, yeah, I consulted it many, a t oh God, this is gonna go great. I consulted <laughs> it many a time when I was just starting to dabble in fertility rituals. Mm -hmm. It was nice to know, it's nice to know that you're so open to fertility magic noodles. I met lots of other monsters and mages who are super prudish about the whole thing. If you want, I've got another article you might like. 15 common household items perfect for an impromptu love potion. Shit! It. Oh shit, that's flirty witch talk if you've ever heard it. Uh, <laughs> camp is gonna be awesome! <gasps> ah, you're getting best girl in! <laughs> oh my god. Well, Here we go. Depends. I love that article. It's taught me so many cheat codes to the classic game. Aaron? How do you cheat a rock, paper, scissors? It's like one of the easiest <laughs> games of chance in the world. <laughs> Easy. You just cut the opponent's hands off. Works every time. What about me? My hands aren't attached to my arms. Your strategy is totally debunked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shit, you're right, Chungus. Chung we, we've been high. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, though. We got all summer to find a different way to beat Hex in their own game. We'll strategize once we get to camp. Skip! Skip! Ahem, you're there now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if there's a question, my answer is soup. I'm gonna go check on my steak. I'll be back. Yeah, okay. okay, cool. <laughs> All right, Kara, where are you going? Uh, to the manor! What? Who could have foreseen this? Who could have predicted such a thing that day you get fucking boldness or whatever? Mm -hmm. We. That day Ow. you get two boldness. Wow, good job. Mm hmm. You link up with Damien afterwards. He ho he told you co uh he told you Coach wanted him to dig a latrine and he could use a hand. Oh. There you are, Birdie. Uh, thanks for showing up, but I think you figured it out. Nice. I didn't know what a latrine was, but it sounds French, so I made an educated guess and buried landmines everywhere. Are you look at him perplexed? The French didn't invent landmines, you tell him. What? They didn't. What the fuck is the point of the French then? Exactly. Oh shit. oh, shit. Hey, stop burying those landmines on my property. You're oh, dangerously shit. close to exceeding the state of California's recommended landmine maximum, and I oh, don't really? need that paperwork. Oh. Your land? What the fuck are you talking about? I've carved my name into every building here and most of the campers. <laughs> sorry, kid. Not actually sorry. It's a, I'm evil. I'm just... It's just an expression. But Camp Spooky is mine now. <laughs> Here's the deed. What? <gasps> no! No! You can't buy Camp Spooky. This is the home of some of my most treasured memories. Also, all my landmines. Oh, no! Poor your baby! Your memories and explosives will, will have to find another home, Sonny. This is shopping mall country now. <laughs> that... That... That blows out her balls! Shopping malls are useless! Why build one here? On the contrary, shopping malls still have one very important use. Making summer campers like you absolutely miserable. You fiend! And now if you'll excuse me, I'm off to spill some of the, some oil in the Pacific Ocean and blame it on sea otters. I'll be back with the bulldozers this afternoon. Toodles! <laughs> Monster! Fuck this! We can't let that colossal wiener bulldoze our beloved camp! <laughs> I was planning to bulldoze our entire camp! There's only one way to fix this that I will accept. Crimes! 
Come on, Birdie. Help me think of an act of vandalism so heinous, it'll scare that dweeb away for good. There's something so wonderful about him calling him a colossal wiener. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about it. Uh, bring in the one thing guaranteed to destroy the value of any property. Shitty neighbors. Or, so salt in the soil, so no shopping malls will ever grow here again. I'm gonna see if... I'm sure we pinned it. The little fucking the cheat thing that we had for this. There it is. Did it. Found it. One second. I'm gonna put it in chat. Because it's wait, important. Wait, wait. It's so important, Spencer! We have to win! I need to win. I want a Damien's secret ending for my birthday. Although everything's <laughs> been going so good for me, I don't think I deserve it. Oh my um, uh, okay. Okay, what are my stats? My boldness is crazy! Your boldness and is then, very good. Yeah. Then my and second highest is my smart. <laughs> yeah, right? That, that's it. Alright. Okay. Bring in the one, uh, the one thing guaranteed to destroy the value of any property, shitty neighbors. Or mm -hmm. so salt in the soil, so no, so no shopping malls will ever grow here again. Um, hmm. Okay. Hmm. 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 Well, this is all the, all those options that feel blunt and well require you to be very bold. Options like, okay, Pro mm -hmm. I don't think any of these are bold. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm. Smarts and creativity, about. it looks like, but I, yeah. Mm hmm. Do you think the top one's smarts? I don't know. Hmm. Aaron, you bitch. Okay, wait. No, I, I smart. just don't, because like the okay. bottom strikes me as smart. Yeah. Okay, smart. Smart encompasses those options about knowing something or being clever. But it could also be an option that, that's explained in a very fucking coherent. Is it coherent? I can't fucking tell. I'm so dumb. I think it's coherent. Mm -hmm. Way or even an option that feels like an Occam razor. Uh, in which it feels very obvious Cogently. on a logical level. Okay, cogently. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, it can also be all options tied to using magic. Okay, none of these are magic. Yeah. But still. Hmm. Let's see. Creativity. Creativity can be anything tied to the arts. It can be an option that entails creating something. Whoa. Hmm. Uh, it can even be something that really feels out of the box thinking. If an option is a reference to a cultural product, like painting or mythology, it might be creativity. Boldness, okay. boldness is, is all of those options that feel blunt and, well, require you to be very bold. Uh, options yeah. tied to doing crimes tend to be here too, and the ones involving lots of violence, neither of those. Charm is all things that require people skills, good or evil. It's persuading, it's charming, it's lying, it's befriending, it's flirting, etc. If an option feels like an excuse to compliment the love interest, it might be charm. Uh, it's all things that sound romantic or straight up saccharine. Oh, fun. Fun is all things. Party, sex, drugs, and chaos. When chaos is a bit too violent, it might be boldness. But when it's not, then it probably it is here. Uh, it's all things tied to earthly pleasures. It's options that are just silly and dumb. If the option is tied to pop culture, then it might be here too. Okay. So, Carrie. Yes. I know the answers. I looked them because up. Because you looked them up. Yes. <laughs> do okay. you want me to tell you, or do you want to try and figure this out? Oh, fuck. I want to try to figure it out until we get to the secret ending point, and then I'm looking it up. Okay, cool. <laughs> because I, I don't think we get on that path until after the drink thing, until after I, like, pick the genie flask. Mm. So I can I can be on my own for now okay. and hope that I make correct choices. Okay. I can play the game for now. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, fuck. I can okay. tell you that none of these are bold. Yeah, sure. definitely. So my next best option would be one that is smart because that's my highest other step and but, oh, fuck, I can... the bottom one feels more creative mm -hmm. than smart do you want me to tell you if you're right or not i'll find out if i'm right if you like is it or not mm -hmm. you can tell me after yeah I'm gonna creative go is your lowest stat by the way i know i know I think the top one smarts. So I'm going to go, go top. for this top. All right. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You're wrong, but you're, you you got it right. It was fun and I succeeded. Mm -hmm. Fuck. <laughs>
<laughs> Ooh, well, fuck it. Okay, what were they? So the top one was fun, and the bottom one was... Creativity. Okay, cool. My mm -hmm. fun was higher than my creativity, so that's good. Yep. <laughs> Salt the earth so malls over. <laughs> <laughs> You're damn right. Oh. The shitty neighbors can turn the best property into a carnival of shit. Like my fucking neighbor, Randall. He smells like burning hair and has a fishing hat that I covet. Uh, <laughs> God, he makes me so fucking sick. <laughs> God damn, but I love Damien so much. <laughs> But where would we find some appropriately shitty neighbors? It's not like Randall's moving anytime soon. Damn him. Uh, what we need are some skilled bad neighbor impersonators. Mm, caper experts, you know? Or mm -hmm. what's another way to say that? Oh, oh yeah, we need some. <laughs> oh my God, yes. One second. I'm finishing this trip. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck. See that right there? That's a bus girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, they're so good they had to take them out of the game. <laughs> God damn it. And because they hate me specifically. <laughs> Those bastards. I'm going to check on my steak. Okay, have fun. Prank masters. With a Z. I was going to say escapade specialists, but that's even better. Hey, we're here to be your fake bad neighbors, bro. Now, uh, uh, Polly already made a list of everything we need. One white picket fence, <laughs> one roll of garden hose, and one bucket of fake mustaches. <laughs> what? Aaron's just in the kitchen being like, I'm going to make good boy noises. I'm such a good boy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. Aww. Uh, why so many fake mustaches? There's only two of you, and you don't really need a disguise. I did my research, Damien. If you took all the shitty neighbors in the world and put them in a pile, do you know how many mustaches you'd have in that pile? 1.6 billion! All right, you're the professionals. I'll get you some mustaches. <laughs> I have a bunch of severed heads I've been meaning to shave anyway. Right. One gruesome disguise montage later. Yeah, all right, I'm back. I hope you're ready. I hope you... Nah. Hope you wore your right. getting evicted pants because I. <laughs> Who are you guys? <laughs> We're your new oh neighbor, God. bro. A polyamorous triple of horny mustachioed men. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we love having threesomes, growing body hair, and vandalizing shopping malls in bizarre and disturbing ways. Welcome to the neighborhood. This is not a prank, and I am normal. <laughs> He's never been more Vogan than in that fucking moment. <laughs> Holy shit. What? Well, they said nobody lived here, lived near this camp because of too much collateral damage. You telling me I have to find a way to, vi to evict you guys, too? That'll take weeks. You win this game, horny mustache, you thruple. But you haven't heard the last of Mr. Papa's evil seat. You, I will return. Hell yeah, we did it. Especially me. I think I'm really getting the hang of this prank thing, you know? Oh my god. Hey, most definitely, bro. I like when you. I like when you said this is not a prank, even though it totally was a prank. <laughs> Where do you even come up with this stuff? I guess I was just inspired by the mischief. The, by the mischief in Birdie's heart. Mm. Thanks for backing me up, hot staff. Oh, shit. Yo, I can't believe it's Vogue and Quintus and Lexi. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> hey, Demon's not the only thing you'd like to back up. The other yeah, thing me. is his ass. You're getting too fun <laughs> in one creativity. <laughs> it's very true. All right. All right, noodles. What am I doing? Oh, my. I've got very middle of the road stats. It's true. Um, Fucking what, what you gonna crank up? What is a Robbie like? I forget. I'm not on a Robbie's route. I'm on Joy's. Oh yeah, fuck. You're on Joy's. Okay. And smarts. we said smarts and creativity, I mm -hmm. believe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. During the hiking of the woods, you get two smarts. Wow. That's crazy. Can't mm. believe you got two smarts. Lady, you're I'm one. Voguing. <laughs> what? I'm voguing and, and I'm pranking you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Ugh. Hey, lady, you're walking around trying to tell if you are uh, if you have mercury poisoning from all the tuna you ate for breakfast. When you see Joy and Scott... <gasps> <gasps> Let's check it out. 
Do you know you're doing photography? It's basically the art version of sports. Yep, we're taking a photography class. I can't even say photography. Holy shit, <laughs> fire me. A photography class together. This week we're supposed to capture the majesty of nature. What would you say is more majestic, a small bush or a small shrub? You have a desperate need to be included in basically everything your friends do, so you whip out your phone and start snapping pics with Scott and Joy. Yay, friendship! Suddenly, <laughs> Scott pauses. He takes a big sniff of the air, mmm, <laughs> and inhales for about 40 seconds straight. Wow. Oh my god. It's an awkwardly long time to be inhaling. <laughs> <laughs> I thought something okay. smelled kind of okay. off. Joy, are you okay? You smell sort of stressed out. Like that time I asked if I could eat macaroni just using my butt. <laughs> Scott, no. Huh? Oh, um, please don't smell me. Thanks. I have but... to. <laughs> <That face. laughs> but I am a bit stressed. It's just that everything is so calm. And when things seem calm, that's actually when they're the least calm. It's the calm before the storm. Mm -hmm. All right, man. When there's no obvious evil encroaching, that just means the whole world is about to be blindsided by the biggest threat imaginable. We should be more worried than ever. All for joy. Mm, do you think that maybe you save the world so much that you get used to saving it? Maybe you're just not used to chilling out. It's Listen. like me and footballs. When I see a football, <laughs> I want to catch it, but somebody has to throw it first so that it needs to be caught. Took me a while to accept that. <laughs> No way. This is not about me and my emotional defense mechanisms. <laughs> Definitely an ancient evil lurking just beneath the surface somewhere around here. Like, for example, look at these pictures. If this were a normal episode with the coven, we'd spend the first two minutes taking photos and setting up some B-plots. Mm. And then we discover a mysterious omen in these pictures, teasing the larger evil that's yet to come. See, this doesn't... This... What? See, doesn't Dope. this picture of there a tree look a little foreboding to you? Uh, it just kind of <laughs> looks it. like a normal tree to me. Uh, looks sort of familiar, actually. I think I peed on that tree once. Oh, God, is that an omen? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe that's not an omen. But what about this photo of a sunflower? The first I thought it showed off the elegant symmetry of the flower. But shit, it might be an omen! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna look through the pictures I took and find an omen because I want to be a good friend. Pictures, pictures, picture. Oh my God, Joe, look! <laughs> oh, look at this one! It's a blurry It's a blurry <laughs> Nope, that's just your thumb. That's a blurry picture of your thumb. Hecate, help me. Maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> uh oh. Looks like Joy's coming up short on omens and is about to be exposed as a total workaholic. Oh, look, heck. Look, look through your pictures and find something ominous to help her out. This picture has a flock of birds, which are classic, uh, classic bad omens. If we connect the birds like you'd connect the dots, I'm sure we'll find an ominous warning. Or, uh, the resolution is too high in all of these pictures. It's a clear omen that technology has gone too far. Oh, jeez. That sounds smart. Um, it's really weird. Because heckin... Well, no, never mind. I was going to be like, the coven slash workaholic is a secret ending, but you need the genie flask for it. Mm. So I just didn't know if you accidentally stumbled onto it. RNG'd your but, way there. Yeah, right. I don't know if you can do it without the drink. Oh, fuck. Weird. Hmm. Well. Well. All my stats are the same. <laughs> yep. Doesn't really matter oh. which one I pick. Uh, okay. Well. What you gonna do, boy? I'm gonna go with the smarts one, just because How? maybe it'll boost my smarts. I don't know. Where? Hey, man. What? Oh, no. Oh, the other one was fun. Was They're the same. <laughs> I fucking hate you, Joy! <laughs> I hate you so much! Why are you so hard to please? <laughs> uh, <laughs> such a run! Carrie got Damien with the fucking four! <laughs> uh, He's Damien. Damien's an easy bitch, ma'am. God damn it. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate her. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll stop laughing and I'll read this fucking thing. There we go. Bye. Uh huh. Sure. Uh, just to clarify, are you showing us this photo because you actually think it's an omen? Like, for real? This is what you think an omen is? Ugh. Or are you just trying to show off the fact that you have an expensive phone with a high resolution camera? Weird flex noodles. <laughs> Uh, you're supposed to flex with your muscles, not your mouth. Wait, <laughs> I guess you can flex with your mouth. I mean, you shouldn't flex with your words. Oh my god. Especially if one of your friends really, really, really wants a good camera for photography class but can't <laughs> afford it, and that friend is me. Oh <laughs> no! Scott wanders a few feet away, saying that he needs some time alone to take sad pictures. Oh. The boy. Me a face. <laughs> Scott, no! <laughs> that was pretty insensitive, Noodles. Scott and I both love photography, but good cameras are really expensive. Sometimes I let Scott just use my camera. And sometimes he uses his cell phone to take pictures. You and Joy both watch Scott. He sadly reaches into his pocket and pulls out a slightly mushy banana. And Scott holds up the banana and starts looking through it like it's a camera. He points it towards a beautiful flower and then says, click out loud. <laughs> what a shame. That actually looked like it would have been a good picture. <laughs> <laughs> you should apologize to him. And also you should be way less of a jerk all the time. Fuck. Fuck. Joy's clearly pissed at you. You try to apologize to Scott, but as soon as you approach him, he claims that he's getting a call on his cell phone and can't talk to you. Scott and Joy take off. You just wanted to brag about your cool phone. Was that such a crime? Apparently, yes, because you lose two boldness and one creativity. Fuck! <laughs> uh, this game is bullshit! <laughs> take me to the lake. All right, to the lake. Oh. That day you gained too far. Wow, good job. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. All right. You see Joy trying to do something normal on the beach. So you, hurt, uh, so you head over to ruin it with sexy. Oh. Uh, just as you're about to strike your most erotic pose, Arabi stomps over and steals your thunder. Ah! <laughs> I love her. Oh, I love her so much. Look at her in her adorable fucking that outfit, goddammit. Joy, enchant, enchant my armor. I'm going into the lake. In armor? I know I shouldn't ask, but why? For violence reasons. This stupid lake monster called me short the other day. Shit, I can't believe I'm Tara. <laughs> but I was too low level to crush him like he deserved. <laughs> then I found this armor of crushing plus 10. Wow. That dumb wet dick hole won't know what hit him. But it'll be me. I'll hit him. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that's going to hit him if you wear that armor is a stunned sense of relief as you plummet to the bottom and drown. It's way too heavy. Wow, Joy, commenting on the armor's weight? I thought you were better than that. <laughs> I came here to be enchanted, not body shamed. Hex, <laughs> come on, help me out here. You think she listens to me? That's cute. Anyway, it's fine. <laughs> I have some friends I've been meaning to visit in hell. Shit. <laughs> oh my god. Don't talk about me like I'm not here, you two. I'll show you both. I'm going into the lake and Having that lake monster. Wait, at least let me enchant the armor to to wait a little less. Okay, fucking, it. it'll keep you from no. drowning. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, lifeguards over here. Fuck it. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, hey, boys. chill out. What's up? <laughs> Arabi's drowning in the middle of the lake. Oh, Don't you see what was happening out there? Hey, whatever. <laughs> Oh, yep. uh, we put blackout curtains on the windows in there. All the sunlight keeps it hard, makes it hard to sleep. Man, one of us should probably get her, huh? But I'm just really not feeling it right now. Rock, paper, scissors? Oh, shit. Yeah, Ron, you better not throw a rock because that's what I'm planning to throw. Ha. Oh, fuck. The two lifeguards square off and proceed to both throw a rock 15 times in a row. <laughs> Surely there must be a better way to decide this. 
Oh yeah, duh. Stu, Stu, grab the emergency scrabble board. You don't stand a chance. Man, if a Robbie dies in the lake, it's really gonna kill the horny summer vibes. Uh, quick, suggest a faster way to decide who saves her. Compose an insightful online quiz that determines who's best suited to save a Ravi. Or, throws a competition to see who can save a Ravi the fastest. Loser has to save a Ravi. Bottom Ooh. one. Oh. Okay. So fun. Hello. Dude, that's an awesome idea. <laughs> they never allowed to do competitions like that in lifeguard school. <laughs> yeah, mostly because we never went to lifeguard school. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh I'm my not god. I'm sure life here at school is a real thing. <laughs> it is. Uh, <laughs> you which know. means there's nobody to uh, to tell us not to uh, do this. Let's go, dude. The two of them dive into the water and speed towards Ravi. Soon she's back ashore. Hi, Owen. That was awesome. I should be a lifeguard. Holy uh, fuck. <laughs> That was not awesome, and I did not need saving. I was only drowning to lure my opponent into a false sense of security. <laughs> hey, you're fair. I forgot so we much. were doing something halfway through and stopped swimming. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> rules are rules, dude. You lost. Uh, you've got to do the thing. Weak. Fine. Help me drag her back out into the lake so I can save her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> but it's too late. They've already snatched a Robbie away and thrown God her back into the lake. Me. I'll save you, dude. <laughs> I'll save you. So they can, uh, so that they can swim her back to shore again. There, I brought her back. Are we even now? <laughs> Holy even shit! For why? Uh, well, that was unbelievably pointless. <laughs> God. Except for the point of my sword, which I used to stab those fish people during my surprise return attack, which was my plan all along. Aravi's so pleased she even shares some of her loot with you and jo <gasps> uh, enjoys at least mildly impressed that you tricked those idiots into doing their jobs. Twice. All in all, I think this is worth plus two fun and two and one boulders, don't you? Fuck Hell yeah. yeah, bitch, do my it. My answer is soup. I'm checking on my steak. Okay, everybody choose an object. So your choice. Okay, Aaron's a soup. Uh, okay. Um, um. Does soup count as an object? Sure. Fair. <laughs> a d cell phone. <clears throat> Specifically, yeah. my cell phone with the uh, okay. Lexi cover and the Fox Pop socket. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait. No. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was gonna say women also. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll narrow it down. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm the object. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. That's fine. A fellow camper with whom you share a tent has brought 20 of this object. Player orders decided Damn. based on how unsullied you feel, you feel about sharing the tent with this person. 20 carries? <laughs> Dear God! Oh, God, no. I win. I think I win. <laughs> You be unsettled by 20 carries? How fucking In dare you? In the same fucking tent? Yeah! It sounds wonderful! That sounds like <laughs> the worst thing I could ever imagine. It sounds like actual hell. <laughs> I win. I win. Fine. Yeah, because like 20 <laughs> soups stuff is nice. Immediately it's like Spencer would. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, like 20 soups would be nice. Like you could share. Yeah, 20 and bowls like, of soup, hell yeah. And like 20 cell phones would be like, okay, you have like an obscene amount of money, but I, I appreciate a cell phone. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Okay, who gets second? Uh. What are we more disturbed by? Soup or cell phones? <laughs> hmm. Like, what do you say need all those cell phones? Yeah. That's so that's sketchy. We don't know. We're deciding if you're getting second or for or fucking third. Hooray. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'd be more ups, like a little more thrown off by the 20 cell phones just cuz like Yeah. There's so many fucking cell phones. Why? Mm. What's the need? Did you steal those? <laughs> Especially because I said specifically my phone. Yeah. So they all have the Lexi covers. Yeah. Oh, like what God. is going on here? <laughs> yeah. What do you have 20 copies of the exact same cell phone? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. I think uh, you get second place then, Carrie. Hell yeah. Pretty. Aaron, you got Pretty. third. Pretty. Pretty. <laughs> you got literally last place. <laughs> <laughs> Never been happier. Oh, where you going, new? To the woods. <laughs> Nancy, you're too smart. Wow, good job. 
fucking you and Joy are hiking together for some reason. You, you and Joy, bitch. who is the goddamn worst, are hiking who, together. Fucking the the aptly named Joy is. <laughs> Holy you, fuck! You're working up the nerve to ask if she'd like to blush, maybe hold hands, but well, oh. then you both trip on a big tree root. Oh shit! Oh, oh my fuck. god! Well, uh, I love him. Uh, oh, I love him. Be careful with your stump in there, kid. Uh, your <laughs> diamonds in the, the merchandise. <laughs> ah! It's a Logan. How goes the Oh, you're doing this. Yeah, because it's my birthday and everybody could hear you because I'm not doing push to talk today. Because it's, I'm, cause it's my birthday and I got satellites of food and I'm having a good time. He's a Logan. Logan's eating my candy. On I'm your supposed birthday? to be speaking these lines. I know. Well, tech, on the day before my birthday. On this. Wow. The day before my birthday. Ow! He hit me. On the day before your birthday? On this. The day before my birthday. How old are you? I'm gonna be a 32 year old lady. Ow. Oh, you're gonna hit me 32 fucking times? Don't do this. Neither of us have time for this, and you know it. Oh, God. My fucking shoulder. Uh, ow, yeah, I'm so sorry that I gave myself a concussion tripping over your root, which you could have warned me about in the first place, since evidently you can talk. Apology <laughs> accepted. It's nice to, uh, it's nice to trip, uh, uh, to meet you. Uh, the name's Mike, Mike the Magic Three, and you, uh... Joy Johnson Jojima, the witch who does not have time for this. Yo, get it, bitch. <laughs> Hey, that wasn't an opportunity for you to speak. It was a chance for me to tell you that you are the chosen one. Just come in here, lays down, and it's just laying, being like, Ugh, I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. You're in super husky mode right now, boy. You want to start playing Piano Man? Thank you for the $50, <laughs> Army of One. <gasps> Army of One gave us $50! $50. Oh, thank you so much, Army of One. Thank you, Army of One. Yeah, what a yeah, sweet. It says, happy birthday, Carrie. Hashtag Carrie is adorable. Oh, Logan, all the money that's like, happy birthday, Carrie, do I get that money? No. Why? It's for me. They're all saying happy birthday to me. Give me that money. That's nice. I mean, it goes back into stuff you're involved with. Okay, but what if it was used to just buy me BP? <laughs> He's just staring at me. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like that's fair. <laughs> yeah, see, Spencer feels like it's fair. How oh, good I think Spencer's the boss here. <laughs> yeah, oh, shit. Spencer sure is willing to fucking decide where that money that otherwise wouldn't go to Spencer will go. But they're saying happy birthday. It's for me. <laughs> I'm going to cut you anyway. Oh, cool. I mean, I already knew that, but it's nice that you knew that. I don't sweat it, doll. <laughs> uh, so I've got this quest for you. It's all about saving the environment and being a friend to the trees. Chosen ones love that crap. Also, get the f get Logan out of your fucking room. <laughs> I can't. I have no power over him. The more I tell him to leave, the longer he stays, and more of a nuisance he is. Yeah. Mhm. Mm That's how he. You do. know this. Uh, there's this potion you I see. need. You see, so I, uh, I mean uh, uh, that the all-powerful forces of nature need. Yeah. Uh, it'll help the trees in this forest grow stronger. Harder, more ah. wooden. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Just ignore him. Just go. He'll, he'll go away. It'll be fine. Ah. Read the line. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you. Ah! You grabbed my chair. I'm scared. Okay. okay, let me see this recipe. A cup of black root, a pinch of demon horn, and... Wait, Viagra? Mike, this is a penis enlargement potion. Wrong! It's a penis ah! enlargement potion! For trees! Uh, yeah, sorry. No way I- yeah, sorry. No way I'm getting involved in your weird dick ventures. Noodles, let's go. Come on! Aren't you supposed to be a hero to humanity and a friend of the trees or whatever's? 
Uh, trees are very insecure about their tiny dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my tree dick right now, or I'm gonna email every old lady on my to scam list and tell oh, them you're a stuck up tree hating bitch. Oh my god, yeah, Kaze just gave us fifty whole dollars. Thank and you, Kaze. Yeah. Five gift subs. Thank you, Kaze. Yeah. Oh, Burberry gave the five gift subs. Burberries, yeah. Oh, uh, what an absolute sweetie. Kaze says, birthday donation. Get, now use this get money away to get yourself the Pokemon get Snap, out. you heckin' adorable person. We should get Pokemon Snap. No. Logan? Stop it. Stop it. Logan. Logan. Get out of my office. Get out of my office. I'm gonna play Piano Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, somebody needs, uh, someone needs to just <laughs> shut Mike up. Uh, Joy already tried the rational argument to no avail. It's, so it's time for your special move. Fighting nonsense with more nonsense. Hell yeah. M Mike, self-esteem isn't about how big your dick is. It's about the truth, uh, about the truly important things. Like having a rat tattoo. Or... Oh, don't be shallow, Mike. True sexiness isn't achieved by enlarging the dick of your body, but by enlarging the dick of your mind. Mmm. Okay. Okay. What do you think, boy? Hmm. Your stats are a little less even now. <laughs> a little bit. A mm -hmm. little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh... Okay, let's see. <laughs> Uh, okay. Hum, 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 hum. Uh, I think this one, this bottom one is smart. It just does, you know, the mind. Okay. Remember to look at the cheat sheet if we need it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so smart. Oh my god, you did it. You did it. You did it. I'm amazing. Oh my god, you did it. Oh my god. Oh my god. While I would normally be unimpressed and frankly disturbed by that comparison, I guess it does work for this specific situation. Hmm, what are you saying? Uh, do trees have some sort of mind dick I can enlarge that I didn't know about? Obviously not. Noodles is saying that self-esteem is all about your state of mind. That means... That means one of the best ways to improve it is by always learning new things and staying curious. Right, Noodles? Uh, sure, absolutely. Uh, definitely not <laughs> yeah, the mind yeah, dick thing Mike suggested. That's uh, what it is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, together, you embark Damn. on a journey to learn something new. Uh, you pool your resources and ha and dive headfirst into floriography or whatever. The language of floral arrangements. <gasps> what? Din! din art? There's more din art? <laughs> she drew me. <gasps> She drew you! <laughs> oh my god, I look so good! I wish I looked that good! Din, <laughs> what the fuck? I need Aww. to buy that ensemble now so that it can just <laughs> exist. Oh my god. Thank oh. you so much, Din! Oh, thank you for the $50, Burnberries. Oh, uh, it so says happy ridiculous. birthday. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You guys are so nice. I don't know what to do. No. And Din raided us. <laughs> Din, oh my god. Oh, hi, Din. You're so ridiculous. Oh. Stop. You're hurting her. You're you're <laughs> fucking beating her to the, to the fucking... To the quick. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> die. You're beating me to death is what's happening. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Thank you for the hundred bits, Jermel. Oh All right. God. Anyway, I don't think game. I even own shorts. I need to go <laughs> buy shorts now. Go buy shorts. I, I uh, will. I'll do that. Maybe now Mike can thing. send old ladies scammy mails in the language of peonies and dandelions, <laughs> and 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 peonies. you can and you what? <laughs> Peonies. It's a kind of no. Those flower. are peonies. And okay. You can, uh, and you can arrange a heartfelt miss, uh, missive for joy. Win win. Fucking five hundred dollars from Why Not Alox. What the fuck? Thank you. Uh, he says more pain <laughs> with with that. What the fuck? I feel what? like Logan owes you some BP. <laughs> Logan better fucking buy me BP at least. It's like 
fucking thirty dollars if I decide that I want like a main thing and a dessert and a fucking like starter. <laughs> like if I go all out at BP, it's like thirty bucks. Like fucking. Oh my god, <laughs> you guys! And thank you for the twenty dollars, Kaze. Oh dear God. Man. Fucking someone donate. What is? Why not? A logs gave us five hundred dollars, yo. Uh. Logan's in the kitchen and he's like, ah. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. Wow. I can't, man. Fan art has the outfit of your Monster Camp character. Oh my, this is my Monster Camp, like, OC. Oh my god. Aww. I'm dying. I'm dying. Then, then. Okay. <laughs> I think I've died and gone to death, Logan. One day we'll oh. play a game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> Shut up. That's ridiculous. I got beautiful art and ridiculous donations, and I don't know what to do. Heckin' fuck. Heckin' heckin' fuck. Okay. I can tell you what yeah. to do. Read. I can do what I want. It's my birthday. <laughs> God. Anyway, whatever. Hmm. I admire your delicate weasels. You're so weird, noodles. Thanks, though. These are still cute. John, I was supposed to say something way <laughs> more suave uh, than that. Oh well, you still getting two—you still getting two creativity and one charm. Wow! Thank you for the ten gift subs, uh, Night Shadow Dragon Slayer. God damn, y'all! All right, where are you going, Care? Oh my god! I wonder where the fuck you're going. Oh, where the fuck am I going? I don't know, bitch. I mean, I want mm. a billion boldness. <laughs> I, I do. I, I want to just fucking top, just fucking stack it. Is yeah, your approach I'm, to playing yeah. this game? <laughs> it's I. It's worked out. <laughs> like fucking. <laughs> My other stats are a little bad, so I might actually go get some fun. You also need fun. fun. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go get fun. All right. Yeah. All right. You oh, decided to go get too too fun. Wow. Good job. Oh. <clears> heck. Heck. Out of the corner of your eye, you notice an advertisement labeled uh, posted by the lake: "Free canoe rentals for handsome people." Oh, what crazy! Hell? You're a pretty handsome person, right? Uh, yeah. Plus, some of your hot friends will probably be there. Maybe you'll even get to see. Ah! Uh... <laughs> oh my God, they're both so fucking cute. So cute. God damn it! <laughs> Out of my way, tomato face. This handsome boat quest was clearly meant for me. Oh yeah. Well, which one of us was born with the word handsome tattooed with it on his chest, huh? Oh. Damien. <laughs> you really have the word handsome tattooed on your chest? Not anymore. I scraped it off with a motor in a motorcycle accident. And only handsome people ride motorcycles. So there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whatever. There's plenty of room in the boat. Let's both get in. Aaron. Yo, Robbie. Are you sure <laughs> that's a good idea? Didn't you used to spend a lot of time, you know, trying to slay this guy? <laughs> That's what makes this an adventure. The more dangerous it is in the boat, the higher the XP bonus for completing the quest. She's not wrong. Uh, yeah. Okay, sure, but what about you, hot pants? You really want to put yourself in a boat with this keyed up murder princess? Well, hatred is the only emotion that really makes me feel alive. So yes, absolutely. Okay. Holy fuck, I forgot how much I shipped them. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap inside of Ravi's skull. Y'all wake me up when something goes horribly wrong. <laughs> Nothing's going horribly wrong, okay? What makes you think something's gonna go horribly wrong? But soon, in the middle of the lake, I ate the oars. Dude, why? Because a Robbie wouldn't let me throw the boat. Row the boat? You wanted to see if you could decapitate me with the oars! Well, as long as we're pointing fingers, I don't think I did- I don't think I didn't see you trying to consecrate the water around the boat, so I'd have an allergic reaction! I think we're missing the main issue here, which is that we're stranded in the middle of the lake, and I do not want to miss the Sloppy Joe night in the cafeteria. <laughs> Figure your shit out! <laughs> no. Make us! <laughs> well, Damn. looks like there's no getting back to shore unless you can help with the, uh, help these two get along. But how? Break open the box labeled, in case of boat drama, take this ecstasy. Or, yell team building, then stab them both. 
<laughs> so the bottom one is bold. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you want to yeah. go to the bottom one there? Yeah, bitch. So bold. Yeah. <laughs> In a sudden stroke of genius, you stabbed Damien and Ravi simultaneously. You knew there was a reason you brought your friendship knives to camp. Of course. What the fuck? Ah! Oh shit! That's not how you stab someone at all! <laughs> Are you kidding? That wasn't a stab, it was a love tap. A real stabbing is all in the wrist, like this. Ravi whips out a very big knife and stabs Damien in the chest. Shit. Wow, impressive grip strength, Ravi. And I like your and I like your form. Honestly, though, the overhand psycho is a little passe. I prefer the Argenti Argentinian knife fight. Nice. And Damien whips out a knife and slices Ravi's uh, Ravi across the leg. Ow! Damn, that's a good one. Really, though, I think that fuck, I think that has more to do with your fingering and knife selection than the specific technique. Yeah, let's talk about my fingering, all right? Stop, I knew it. I fucking wasn't drawing attention to it. They've already had it three away. They're fine. Yeah, they're fine. Mm, maybe you're right. Damn. Damn, Aravi. I didn't know you were a fellow stabbing enthusiast. Dude, they need to make out. <laughs> fucking. How could I not be? It's such a rich field with so many great role models. Do you know Judd Stabbington? <laughs> Of the Stabbington Brothers podcast? Of course I do! He stabbed me in the neck at a book signing on in, in Ontario! Holy shit, can I see? Sure! Damien stabs Robbie in the neck by way of demonstration. <laughs> wow, he really is an innovator! You feel left out. She asked them if they can stab you too. They're happy to oblige, and you'll learn a lot about proper blade angle and the leverage. Hell Eventually, yeah. one of the camp counselors sees you all in the boat, stabbed each other, and drags you back to shore. You all have a great time chatting about knife stuff as you as you recover in the infirmary. Hex even writes a poem about it. Who knew a cutting tool? Who knew a cutting tool would be the, would be the thing that brought you all together? You gain two fun yeah, and one bitch. boldness. Wow. Hell yeah, bitch. Ah, uh, okay. Where? Soup. Soup. I don't, <laughs> I don't mean it's soup. I don't. I mean the soup's my. I, I don't know where soup is. <laughs> I don't know where soup. <laughs> I can't take you to the clothes store. <laughs> God damn it, Spencer! You know they're not the same thing. <laughs> oh. uh, where where do you want to go? <laughs> Fucking. Uh, uh, you fucking Thunderdome? bear. I don't know. Hell Thunderdome. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I can get to charm. Good job. Oh, wow. it's charm, piss. <laughs> nah, piss. I couldn't remember. <laughs> uh, well, then, dicks. Know. Hey, lady, you're playing duck, 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 stab with a Robbie and Hex. You haven't faded. Uh, you haven't faded from blood loss, so technically you're winning. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, <clears throat> who's doing it? Hey, you purple hair, freckle, cindery energy person. It's Morty, the hypersexualized minotaur. Macho from man for that shit. I mean, it's fit. <laughs> yeah, man, no, totally fits. I just love that it's fucking Macho Man Randy Savage. It's excellent. Uh -huh. it's so good. Uh -huh. Here you go. It's Morty, the hypersexualized minotaur from Camp, Ri uh, Camp Rival Camp. Uh, you can't help oh. but notice that Morty's thighs look like two, <laughs> look like two greased up Thanksgiving turkeys cuddling oh. in a hot oven. Oh, jeez. You're clearly the strongest person in this dome, and I'm clearly the sexiest, so I'm challenging you to a non-sexual duel. Ah. I have to specify non-sexual now because for some reason, people keep trying to fuck me when I duel them. For some reason, crazy. Hell yes, duel accepted. I've got a poison lasso I've been saving for a bovine type enemy. Saddle up, Hex. Yeah, yeah, duel, adventure, whatever. This guy smells like beef, so I'm in. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but only if we can get beef flavored fruit roll ups later. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Wait, wow. what the fuck? This duel is 2v1. <gasps> this is totally unfair. I thought you were cool, but turns out you're on a. <gasps> you're a big freaking cheater. <laughs> oh, damn. No, no, no. Chungus is just a bystander. Trust me, he's just here for the erotic thrill of watching me vanquish you. That's true. 
No, not Chungus. I'm talking mm -hmm. about that green fart on your shoulder. Ha! Ha ha! X! Dear God, that's hilarious. Don't get me wrong. X is, like, sort of funny sometimes, but they're a curse. It's not 2v1, dude. They're a fucking nerf. Yeah, honestly, that's pretty accurate. For example, I just cursed a to be allergic to walnuts for the next three years, see? <laughs> wow, what a dick. Oh, so now you're saying that you need to be nerfed to duel me? Can you see, can you even see how thick my neck is? Uh oh. <laughs> also, thank yeah. you for the $30, uh, Kaze. Says, fuck Kaze. it. Uh, making, making an even 100 on my end. Congrats on oh. getting to stay in Canada. I don't do this for just anyone. Not close oh friend. Uh, not close friends by he, hey, but hey, being a good acquaintance with y'all is more than I can stand sometimes. Oh, that's fair. We're a lot. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, thank you. It's so yeah. funny. <clears throat> oh my god, y'all fucked me up, man. I'm not gonna stand for this humili <laughs> humiliation. I'm only gonna duel you if I have a curse too, because I am a big man and I'm, and an even bigger bull. Oh yeah. Help. Oh yeah. Ugh, dude, you were the one that asked for this duel. But I'm about to level up my mid-range combat skills, so whatever. Fine, let's get you a curse. Ooh. You know it's a great curse potential, Aravi. Chungus. He's always <laughs> following you around doing shenanigans just like me. <laughs> and he is pretty good at cursing, not gonna lie. Yo, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, let's try it. Worst case scenario, they get they well, they'll suck at it and it'll be funny. You climb up on Morty's ripped shoulders as he's preparing to fight Aravi. Quick, curse Morty so Aravi can beat his annoying juicy ass. Uh, <laughs> developers note this event is about being a curse, so be ready for some really cursed options that may make you uh, reconsider the trigger warning filter on settings. Uh, sorry, no, sorry. Oh, shit, dude. Uh, curse Morty with some cursed images, and no images are more cursed than ALF porn! Oh, God. Uh, uh, threatened to poop on Morty's back! <laughs> <laughs> ALF porn. <laughs> ALF porn? Alright. Yeah. Oh, so fun! <laughs> um. <clears throat> the okay. Google search is faster than you'd want, it, want for it to be. You show Morty <laughs> your findings. Apparently, most of this comes from D uh, DeviantArt's obscure intersection of avid hentai artists, alien mm. sex connoisseurs, and nostalgic ALF fans. All right. Oh God! Oh God! I want to be, <laughs> I want to be sex positive, <laughs> but Elf has never meant, was never meant to do these things. Why is Elf so wet? <laughs> <laughs> you show oh, Morty I a comic it. where Elf introduces the innocent, uh, the innocent Tanner parents to the t to the sticky, messy, kinky ways of fuck planet Melmac. Oh! If the dis. If the disturbing pornography didn't burn your eyes to read, the comic would be admirable in its pursuit of accuracy and depth. It almost seems to be a sincere exercise in, so in sociology and anthropology. Or xenology? Uh, xenology? Uh, That's it. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, trying to pin down Melmax customs to the smallest details. The message is, too, is so positive, too. It implies that sometimes it's okay to go out of your comfort zone and how enriching it is to embrace new cultures. Oh, beautiful. Aw. But let's not forget all these positive things are conveyed through, uh, through the language of very weird elf porn. Mm -hmm. ah, the horror! I can't see this! Why, elf? Why? Uh, Morty begins punching himself in the eyes, allowing oh, Arami to easily defeat him. Wow, that was easy. I leveled up and didn't even need to burn a green potion. Guess I should say thanks, Chungus. You make a pretty good curse. <laughs> hey, Chungus, now you talking about Alf earlier? I'm a huge Alf fan. Let me see the Alf pics too. <laughs> oh no! Before Hex can see the Alf porn, you smash your phone against a wall and destroy it forever. You wrecked your phone, but you also saved Hex from the greatest curse of all, inflicting feelings about, the level, about that lovable, goofy alien named Alf. For that, you gain two charm and one fun. Wow. Woo! Wow. All right, everybody choose a fictional character. Um. Alf. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, okay. Lexi. Um, hmm. Hmm. Wonder Woman. Um. <laughs> uh, player. Very different uh, directions. Let's see how this plays out. Player orders <laughs> decided based on which character you'd least like to share a tent with for a week. Yep. 
Yep. Elf? No. Aaron, yeah, yeah, Aaron wins. Yep. Yeah. Elf, yep. yeah. What was yep. yours, Carrie? Lexi. It'd be wonderful that you're a town Lexi. Lexi or Wonder Woman. Which, yeah. would be, which would be more upsetting to spend a week in a tent with? Hmm. A week? I don't know if I yeah. could do a week with, with Diana. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. She's a little, uh, she could be a little overbearing. It's true. She could be a lot. Uh huh. But so can Lexi in a very different way. But she's so <gasps> cute. Oh. All right. Well, that's fine. Okay. No, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I'll take Listen, the compliment right, and if go I'm and fucking lose because one. you're complimenting me, then I'm going to lose. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll like, well. see what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Chungus, where do you want to go? Oh, fuck, I'm going last. Shit. Go to fuck me, uh... Robbie. Oh, baby. All right. <clears throat> you wander over to the campfire, hoping to peer fresh as someone into making you a s'more. When you find Milo, or Robbie, and Hex, uh, they're all gathered around with notebooks. Hey, Chungus, check it out. We're doing poetry. It's like normal sentences, but deep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, who's being the boy? Exactly. Or the non As a reaper with the finest taste in the living arts, of course I'm a poetry stan. Oh, in my infinite God. compassion, I thought that poetry could be a nice exercise for Robbie to connect with her feelings and embrace the now with a little more joy. Mm -hmm. As opposed to their usual blind rage. <laughs> Come on, Robbie, poetry is tight. I mean, I usually I express myself through the flavor of Pringles I'm eating, but Milo's <laughs> shown me that I can also express those feelings with words. Oh. That's wonderful, Hex. You see, Ravi, dear, there's poems for everyone, like epics or poems too. An epic sounds right up your alley, doesn't it? Uh, I just, I don't really get it. I mean, my grandmother used to read me the, what in the fuck? The ma Mahab Mahabharata. Mahabharata, cool. When I was a kid, that one was cool and it might count as an epic, I guess. And I'm trying to put my feelings into this poem, but the only feeling I have is a deep desire to win! <laughs> you have a desire to win. What do you want to win? The battle against your own vulnerability? Listen! <laughs> <laughs> That's not what no, we're you... talking about right now. <laughs> yeah, all right, okay, come on. <laughs> no, you doof! I want to win! The poetry, obviously. <laughs> Ravi, this is not a competition. Poetry is the opposite of competitive. You're insulting Sylvia Plath by implying otherwise. <laughs> As usual, Milo's just lying to my face so they can get an well, so they can get an advantage in this poetry battle. Nice try, Milo. That trick won't work on me. <laughs> Besides, I've told you this over and over. Everything is a competition. Everything. What about? I don't know, sleeping? Yes, it is. It's a competition for who can get the most of it. Or you can do a challenge run to see who can survive on the least sleep possible. Oh, uh, what about yoga? <laughs> All right. A competition for who is the most bendy and sweaty, duh! <laughs> wait, you guys listen to this poem I just wrote. No, wait, you guys, listen yep. to this poem I just wrote. Bagels, they used to be everywhere, but now they are inside me. It's a metaphor for consumerism. <laughs> oh. Milo's getting frustrated and with Robbie's lack of vulnerability, and Robbie's about to physically fight Milo. Intervene before someone's feelings get hurt. Ever heard of slam poetry? It's poetry that you can turn into a blunt weapon to beat your opponents with. Whoever can club an enemy to death with their po with their poem is the winner. Or, or Robbie, you haven't be you haven't even been writing poems. These are just walkthrough guides. If anyone here is the winner, it isn't you. Slam poetry. There you go. Re, Ryu the game. The game says bye, Carrie. Okay. Oh, bye, you, you, oh, bye you, Ryu. You getting out of here? Okay, bye, Carrie. Okay. No, I just, just, just me. <laughs> Out of yeah. that, or, you know, oh, they're like. Oh no, no, I wasn't leaving. I just wanted her to leave. <laughs> no, right? They, they want me to leave, or they're like outside my window, yeah. about to fucking snipe me. Like bye, Carrie. <laughs> Like, fucking oh, <laughs> fucking Vogan, <laughs> Vogan emo just like everything is a competition. Get out to the bathroom, Vogan. <laughs> Get out in the bathroom, Vogan. I will poop Stupid. the most <laughs> and the biggest. <laughs> like fucking Vogan. Whoa, did you just say blunt weapons? I specialize in blunt weaponry. 
<laughs> no, 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 Chungus. Slime poetry is a form of poetry reading that rewards the most ham-fisted performance possible. Savage. It's too late. Damn. It's too late. <laughs> Robbie's no longer listening. She's rolled up her poems like a newspaper, and she's using them to beat the shit out of a pair of nearby goblins. Those goblins hey, yeah. were clearly Get just a taking, a nut, uh, taking a union-approved smoke break from their, uh, from their normal gig of being dungeon monsters. But if Robbie doesn't listen when they, when they insist they're off duty. Uh, even though the goblins are screaming in pain, they do seem like a Robbie's poetry. Uh, seem to like. Beautiful. Okay. No. Uh, if we're gonna die, at least we, we we're beaten to death by by such beautiful words. Ha! <laughs> Sick. Check out the loot I got from these dead goblins. Two whole packs of cigarettes. Nice. <laughs> you even smoke? <laughs> Fuck no. But I can craft. Hmm. I guess a cigarette helmet. Is that a thing? <laughs> well, I'm scandalized by this violence, but uh, do you feel a bit better now, Ruffy? Yeah, I kind of felt good. It kind of felt good to let all, to let it all out like that. Jesus, Carrie. It's okay, take your time. <gasps> you know, I, I, I figured out how to feel, but I've forgotten how to speak. So. <laughs> Happens all the time, dear. <laughs> well, not for me, but you know. <laughs> Maybe poetry really is a good outlet for anger and other bad feelings and stuff. I finally understand poetry. It truly is a beautiful art. I'm so happy we're finally in the same stanza. <laughs> yes, a beautiful art. Just like Taekwondo or Jiu Jitsu or cutting someone's head off with a longsword. Nice. Y you know what, Milo? I think I'll definitely be writing more poetry in the future. Especially if I run into more low-level creatures. Oh, that's adorable. I'm so happy I could help. And although I was right from the beginning... Oh, and also I was right from the beginning, and I knew it. <laughs> Chungus, you know that teaching a rabbit to beat people with poems just to gain her affection is super irresponsible, right? <laughs> Being irresponsible is what I'm all about. Fist bump. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah everybody's bitch. happy. Except those goblins who are near death. But you didn't come here to fuck a goblin. No, I mean... <laughs> Unless there's some sort of super secret ending for that, in which case you get your game. <laughs> I mean, yes. Mm -hmm. Do they just have one and it's just straight up Vogan and you're like, wait a right. fucking second. <laughs> wait <laughs> like, a <minute. laughs> hey, no, wait a minute. Somebody gonna get sued. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, no, you head over to the campfire to roast the exotic bug shish kebab uh, you've lovingly crafted when you see joy and calculus to writing in a notebook. Aw. We could put fire extinguishers under every log so responsible campers can stop reckless ones. Or we can put the campfire out immediately to prevent the need for fire extinguishers at all. Oh, oh, hello, friend Noodles. Friend Joy and I were brainstorming ways to make the campfire a safer place for all of our friends. And frenemies. Of course, normally a campfire poses limited dangers, but since this is Camp Spooky... Friend Milo came dangerously close to the campfire the other day, dragging several campers with them to get a perfect firelit selfie. The prank masters have been known to pop in now and then, and they definitely stole some fire in a jar last time. Who knows what they did with it? <laughs> I do. I do know what. It was not safe. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there's Damien being Damien. And friend Dahlia being friend Dahlia. <laughs> Fuck yes, bitch. <laughs> so with all that in mind, we need a way to get people to be safe around the fire. Or make the fire itself safer. No, Calculester, I've told you. Fires don't hurt monsters. Monsters <laughs> hurt monsters. Well, that logic doesn't add up completely, and you suspect it's just joy being a bit tipsy and not thinking things through. <laughs> Time to find a better solution. <laughs> You're right, Calculester. Let's seal off the fire with a firewall. Nah. Oh, hey, Joy, let's design and implement a fire harassment seminar to teach our fellow campers to respect fire's personal space. Yeah, that one. <laughs> I guess I still want to get hearts with Joy, whatever. Just like, <laughs> fucking... just like, I just need to get her done, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I just need to win. Dude, maybe, maybe it's because uh. of this aggressive attitude that you have towards Joy. Maybe that's why she won't love you back. You ever think Fuck about that? Her. <laughs> <laughs> what you're trying to do? <laughs> oh dang, that's actually super smart. 
And maybe they'll be able to translate those skills into their relationships to other monsters, too. Uh. <clears throat> no. ah. <laughs> right, that's not me. Or, that is me. Fuck. <clears throat> uh, judging by past behavior and learning curves, uh, friend Joy, my calculations indicate a near zero chance of this. A girl can dream, Calculester. A girl can dream. True. I forget, because I cannot dream. I can only power down or go into sleep mode. But alas, this does not bring me dreams. Given our classmates' general lack of common sense, I think we should come up with some some uh, bleh, with some simple, clear guidelines. Joy, are you having a stroke? Yes, yes, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> God, finally someone noticed. <laughs> call call a joyulence. <laughs> a joyulence? <laughs> yeah! Uh, our seminar subsections could include a module called Where to Touch a Fire. Ooh. Mm. The answer is nowhere. <laughs> we can also give helpful tips like fire burns and a fire cannot give consent. So please keep your genitalia away from it. <laughs> <laughs> and surely organic life forms must know that their much needed reproductive organs should not be placed near a substance to, so hazardous to them. You'd think so. Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> Damien slowly sips up his pants. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah, Apparently, we haven't spent nearly enough time with Damien. Like, yeah, right? <laughs> God damn it. But I think with these instructions, even our most reckless classmates should successfully learn the importance of respecting a fire's personal space. Great idea, Noodles. You're welcome in my personal space anytime. Oh, shit. shit she's winking at you, bitch. Oh, shit. By, the, by which I mean you can sit next to me around the campfire. For now. Joy winks Bitch. at you, and the feeling it gives you was warmer than the glow from any fire camp. Campfire. Any fire camp. Any fire camp. Wow. Next Where are you going? to my you wanna go boy. To the, you want to sit by yourself? No, my boy. The, I want to go to my moth? boy. We're going to Damien. By yourself, right? I want to sit next to Damien. <laughs> All right, Bing. fine. The ground is quaking. Birds are fleeing from their nests. A frantic newscaster on the radio is screaming that the end is nigh. Is this the, is it the apocalypse? No, not quite. Damien and Dahlia are just having another argument. Yet another girl that I ship with Damien. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right. I better fucking strap an arrow go, bud. Eight, nine, ten, ha! I like to count five ten times, and you say that I could be, but as I've proven time and time again, I can do anything. <laughs> Joy off screen. See what I mean? See what I mean? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> no, like... the bet was that you can't lick the campfire ten times without burning your tongue, and you couldn't. That obviously means I'm the superior team and, with, and the hotter fuck. Oh, shit. Hey, you can't even prove that my tongue hasn't always been this blackened and bleeding. <laughs> this bit wasn't it fair. Face it, doll. Anything oh, you shit. can do, I can do better. Give me ten minutes alone with this campfire, and I guarantee, I'll, I guarantee you, I'll tongue it to perfection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> All right, well. <clears throat> Okay, first of all, ew. Second, you you got the you got to choose the last bit. It's my turn to make you look like a little bitch. <laughs> Shit, Dolly. Hmm. Oh, I bet you can't stab your hand sixteen times without screaming. We did that one last night. I still have the knife sticking out of my palm, stupid. Oh, right. I thought that was just a weird new piercing. <laughs> <laughs> Who says it isn't? Wait, I've got it. I bet you can he fit 12 whole giant marshmallows in your mouth. <laughs> your <Sorry>. mouth. <laughs> no way you're getting rid of this one, you little red weenie. <laughs> Fuck you, yes I can. You have no idea what I can fit in my mouth. You oh, have bitch. no idea. Oh my god, yes, though. Well, if those two are set on this bet, why not make it a little more interesting? What's something you could get them to wager on this marshmallow exchange, uh, or challenge, not exchange? If Damien wins, he gets a hundred of Dahlia's soldiers, and later he can challenge Dahlia to fit all of them in her mouth. 
Oh. If Dahlia wins, she gets to write down a law of her own for the eighth circle of hell. So, it's so the top one. one. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <gasps> hell. 300 years in the future, late uh, late one winter's night, an innkeeper finds herself up late uh, serving the mysterious we weary traveler who stumbled in a few hours ago. Oh, oh shit. Oh. All right. Heck, I don't even know. Fuck it. She can be. She can have a grace voice. Here you go, sir. Another mug of fresh coffee. <laughs> but I must ask, why are you still awake? It's nearly midnight. I <laughs> try. <laughs> <laughs> But I must be awake at dawn if I want to continue my <laughs> journey. Hell yeah. It would be, uh, be much easier to stay up through the night. Though, I do grow exhausted. Is that so? Well, there's an old story my grandfather told me that would keep me awake for weeks. Let's see if it works for you. It was a dark summer's night when two ancient demons, one... A sumptuous prince, <laughs> the other a monstrous war lady, were engaged in a spiritual trade. Oh. The war lady offered the prince one hundred of her most loyal soldiers, men and women who had spent their lives bathed in blood and honor, as a show of good faith for a bit. Mm -hmm. However, the evil prince acquired these heroic soldiers. When the evil prince acquired these heroic soldiers, I'm sorry, I can't read. He mm -hmm. had said, I was raised by wolves, so I don't understand how to read. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he instead convinced the war lady to eat them all in one enormous sticky gulp. How ghastly. Were there any survivors? None. When the scene was found later, all that remained were their uniforms covered in blood and grime and a note which said eat up you blue fuck face <laughs> <laughs> what a terrifying letter surely such a horrible story can't be true yes perhaps it is just an old wives tale but i still sometimes wake up from nightmares Hearing the war lady's beastly chewing <laughs> and the princess cackle on the breeze <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the present. <laughs> 10, 11, 12! Holy crap, he really did it! Dude, <laughs> 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 spit the marshmallows out! <laughs> we can't understand anything you're saying! <laughs> uh, <coughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, to recap, I fucking told you, you fucking fucks! I did it! That's what I said. <laughs> I love it so much. And over the soldiers, Dahlia. Time for you to get a taste of military food. Why are you like this? <laughs> ah, and you, and you still did... <laughs> Ah, and you still think Damien smoking hot even with globs of gooey chewed up marshmallows on his lips? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, all tantalized and ready to, for you to lick it all off his lips. Fucking get the hell out of here, you bitch! Young be love, <laughs> so reckless, so messy, so stupid. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, I need this genie bottle! I need to make a choice! Alright. Okay. Make it a choice. Yeah. Hey there, party people. I bet you're here for a free drink. Good thing I'm uh, feeling generous tonight. Just remember, I'm not held responsible for whatever happens to you. Take your pick. I fucking love him so much. So much. All right, Big Chungus, what do you want? You yeah, sponsor? What? Sponsor. I think you should let Aaron voice the kitty. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, Hi, can, do we have the genie flask? Is it there? It's right here. Okay, but it's for Chungus, so don't get that, Aaron. I need it for a secret ending. <laughs> no, be nice. It's almost my birthday. Uh, no. Uh, fucking rainbow one. This one here. Ooh. I can't remember what a lot of these do. I know what the whiskey does. Yeah. It does nothing. Yeah. I think this whiskey. one gives you more smarts because because brains. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I fuck it, rainbow me. Hell yeah. I will take this one. Of course you will. Mm -hmm. Give me that flash. All right. Flash genie. All right, Aaron. I managed to catch a genie inside that flask. 
<laughs> it took me years and he just drank it. I hope you asked her an important wish at least, like ending world hunger. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You wish to spend more time with your summer crush. Yeah, I do. Bye. Oh. Bye. Yay! Ah! Imagination shots. Drink this <laughs> will expand your mind. It's pure creativity. Oh. A small unicorn is just decorative. But you can eat it if you feel like it. What stat did you need for your girl? Uh, for, uh, fucking... for Aaron. Yeah. Oh, oh fun and Fuck. bold, probably. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, your fun's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've managed to distill the stats that make us who we are. <laughs> the result is this stat smoothie. It's a huge, delicious boost. Brrrap! Make everything. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part where I leave before you puke all over me. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. All right, choose a fictional character. Uh, hmm. Perry the Platypus. Ooh! Toru Honda. Oh, shit. Lexi. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> All right. You're the manager of a burger joint. Player orders decided based on which fictional character would make the best assistant. Perry the platypus. Absolutely. How fucking dare you? How fucking Toru dare Honda. you? Toru Honda. <laughs> All right, fine. Congrats. I'll concede on that one. Damn right you will. All right. Bitch works hard. All right. Then hmm. Perry the platypus. Definitely. I mean, I don't know. Lexi's really good at doing as she's told. Yeah, but could she be a uh, assistant so manager? Telling people what to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. Assistant manager, though. So the manager would tell her what to do, and then she would tell everybody else what to do. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm actually pretty good at it, but I'm not going to defend Aaron's choice. Aaron, you defend your choice. <laughs> Aaron, flip a coin. Uh, sex, it's Lexi, because obvious reasons. Yep. Uh -huh. No cash value, Perry the Platypus, because obvious reasons. Yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> sex. Damn Hell it. yeah. You're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. None of you guys are going to the places I need to go, so that's fine. <laughs> that, that's really fair. All right, birthday girl. Okay. Where are you going? Okay. I'm, I'm going to go get more bolt. Uh -huh. What? All right, Dad, now you get too bold. Wow, good job. Crazy. All right. You and, you and Damien are having a lovely time sunbathing. The, the, one the, the one activity for which he's willing to put aside is enmity uh, en with the sun. Did it? That's fair. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe. Every once Fuck in a while, you. I let an enemy <laughs> get a punch in just to make them feel good. Today, that enemy is the sun. Then the punch is burning me to a fucking crisp for the fun of it. Maybe it's My your boy. imagination, but it seems like Damien is starting to feel a little more at home at, uh, at home at camp. Uh, you hope that maybe, just maybe, you have something to do with that. Oh. Suddenly, oh. The, <laughs> oh. suddenly, the ground starts shaking, trembling. A crack splits the earth and smoke rises up. <gasps> oh, fuck. Get ready, Bird A. Or should I say... Cool, Josh. Yeah, I'm on this uh, secret ending. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Hooray. Uh, no. <laughs> Damien should not say cool, Josh, because that isn't your name. <gasps> oh! <laughs> okay. Okay. Which dad do you want to be? <laughs> uh, I'll be the the red one. Yes. Look, Lucy and our baby boy surviving at his own summer camp <gasps> so far away from us. Completely independent. <laughs> And we love how independent you are and weren't at all concerned about your survival skills based on any of the letters you send home. No. No. We were just traveling from the eighth circle of hell, even deeper into the fiery depths, but uh, in a way that somehow involved a totally reasonable detour to the surface. Uh, dads! Oh my god, I'm Besides. so we're so excited to meet this cool Josh we've heard so many wonderful things about. Oh no. From the loving way you two are gazing at each other, I assume that this monster is, in fact, cool Josh? Um, yes, of course. This is cool Josh. Who else should, would she be? <laughs> Listen, cool Josh. I know we said we could uh, keep our relationship secret for a while, but you see, 
My dad's pioneered the idea of love as the ultimate alliance, the ultimate weapon, the ultimate life goal. Aww. I knew how proud it would make them to know what I that I found a significant other. So I told them about you. I hope that's okay, Cool Josh. Is it? O it is okay, right? Cool Josh. What the fuck, Damien? <laughs> <laughs> Damien glares at you. You nod. If there's one thing you're an expert on, it's romance. Adjacent shenanigans. Uh, romance Yo, adjacent yes, shenanigans. bitch! Romance adjacent shenanigans? Bread and butter, bitch! I love that <laughs> shit. Oh, what a perfectly normal conversation between two people with an established relationship and significant others. <laughs> so tell us, cool Josh, how did you meet our pride and joy, Prince Damien LeVay of the Eighth Circle of Hell? Fuck, you can lie your way through this. This is what you spent all of those hours training on what pad at 3 a.m. for? Uh, uh, it was AO3, <laughs> but like, what else? Well, <laughs> okay. uh, we met on a, tr uh, on a transatlantic voyage Damon took with his rich fiance, Cal Hawk Hockley. <laughs> uh, but he oh. joined me in third class where he we danced, drew each other naked, and fucked in a car. <laughs> <laughs> Damien pretended creative. to be my <laughs> Damien pretended to be my boyfriend when I needed to fool my po fool my parents. But what started but what started as a fake relationship blossomed into a real one. Y'all, I'm fucking dumb. <laughs> Why? Because the top one's creativity and the bottom one's charm, and I, d I knew this, oh, and I did nothing. No. I did nothing to, to help me, and I'm gonna get booted off of the secret ending. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Which one do you want? No! I want, I want it so bad. Fuck. Oh, no. This is going to top one. Adorable. We've always oh thought David upholds noble status as a prince, but never at the expense of true love. It's oh wonderful to God. think that he has learned well, learned well the importance of love conquering all, even societal obligations. Ah, oh, thanks, dads. But isn't Cal Hockley the name of the fiance in Titanic? Yeah. Uh, you you quickly jump in, reminding them that the RMS Titanic really did sink in 1912, and the movie is actually more of a dramatic reenactment than fiction. It's uh, the true. ghost of the real Cal Hockley, who was definitely real, has been roaming the earth <laughs> searching for true love. Yeah, and uh, he thought that he had it with me because he who who wouldn't want to be in love with the son you raised so well. Uh, but when I met Cool Josh, I knew that Cool that Cal w could never be the man for me, and uh, I I had to follow my heart, just like you always taught me, Dads. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, it makes me so happy to hear all of that. We're so proud of you, sweetie. Oh, yes, all of that made perfect logical sense, which is great because for one moment there I thought you were perhaps lying to us <gasps> never all i want is to make you proud dads and we are proud of you always and now that you are a veritable uh, a veritable member of our family our pride extends to you as well cool josh they're so nice although i am unsure how necessary it was to tell damien's fathers about your decision to go nude portraits and go fuck in a car Oops. Oh, well. Stan and Lucian. <laughs> Lucian are <laughs> still very sweet. Uh, they clearly love each other. And Damien. Mm -hmm. It almost makes you wish that you really were Damien's significant other. And that Stan and Lucian really did think of you as family. Oh. Wait. Almost. No, it makes you feel exactly that. And yeah. maybe one day you'll have it. In the meantime, you have plus two charm and one boldness. Wow. Okay. That was a fucking miracle. I that can't was. believe that happened. Holy shit. All right, Chungus. I need to do this, boys. Okay, I'm looking ahead. <laughs> the next one's bold and charm. Cool, I can get away with bold. And last one's bold and creativity. Cool, I can get away with bold. Uh, fucking, okay. I guess oh, fun, Christ. I need bold and I can't do that. I'm sorry, Aaron. I'll get off of it in a little bit. Into the lake. To the lake. Oh, fuck. All right, get too fun. Good job. 
You already knew that Arabi. Uh, you already knew Arabi was loaded with bravery, determination, and shut and, and shut chutzpah. Chutzpah. Uh, mm. but as, uh, chutz, pa, uh, but, as, <laughs> but as she roots through a bag, it's clear she's loaded with some pretty sick items as well. Why are my battle axes plus one through plus 200 all out of order? I got bored while you were sleeping and I arranged them by color. <laughs> or Abby rolls her eyes and drops out all the battle axes on the ground, so, uh, to be sorted later. Oh! Here's that Alexandria's cursed emerald diadem I found in one dungeon. And may I just say, I'm very cool about not being in the the only curse in your life. Wow. Well, oh, oh shit. <clears throat> uh, Miss Mishra, uh, how dare you litter on the hollow grounds of Camp Spooky? Hollow. <laughs> yeah. No, God no, damn that's it. just hollow. <laughs> I'll kill you. Oh, I'm not littering, Camp Director Ms. Weaving. I was just looking through my bag for, um... Uh, You're telling me that all these items were in yet one small bag. Likely story. And what is this bottle of booze? That's not booze, that's my therapist. Then you need a second therapist to help you deal with the fact that you keep your first therapist trapped in a bottle. If Listen. that were true, which is uh, which it is obviously not, and I can prove it. Let's see exactly what kind of spirits are in here. If it's Mr. If it's Miss Guy's toilet one again, I swear. Oh my gosh. Camp yeah. Director Miss Weaving raises an interesting point about keeping me in a bottle of Avi. <laughs> do you think do you think do you think you feel the need to keep people physically tied to you because of your brother? Salios? We'll go with that. Salios disappearance? So you didn't sneak booze in. You snuck a pet into camp. That's even worse. I'm confiscating it immediately. She's not a pet. She's my therapist, and I'll prove it by showing how calm a level headed therapy is made by. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working so hard at therapy, and I'm getting so good at therapy. And you're really gonna have to fix that compressor of yours. Is it not working? It's not therapy. working at all. It's not working at all? It's not lighting all. up like it's doing the thing. Fuck, it I'm is sorry. not doing its job. Shit, I'll try to fucking calm down. Uh, <laughs> oh. I appreciate the enthusiasm, but therapy isn't something you get good at. No, I'm slaying therapy! I don't wanna prove it by. by. Chungus, how am I gonna prove how good I am at therapy to Miss Weaving? What? I am at therapy, so Miss Weaving gives Nora back. Uh, oh, oh, oh God. Uh, <laughs> oh. Weaving. <laughs> weaving. You've done dream. Uh, you've done dream inter uh, in interpretation. interpretation there you go. Yeah. It's hard to read because of the yellow. Uh, yeah. Interpretation like... in therapy, right? Demonstrated uh, analyzing the shit out of a dream. Or. This may not be spooky high, uh, but you can still ace test. The ultimate test. The Rorschach test. Mm. Uh, analyze the shit out of a dream. All Ooh. right. Uh, this one here? The top yes. one? Yes. Yeah. So creative. <gasps> nice. Ooh, that's true. I'm explaining my dreams to Nora, even when she asks me to stop and move on. <laughs> well, Aravi, even through... Yeah, even though dreams can reveal what your subconscious, what's in your subconscious mind, it's still important to confront the realities of day-to-day -day life. But now I'm gonna use all the dream analysis to get you unconfiscated. So, so you see, the therapy trap we said is finally going to be sprung. <laughs> therapy isn't a trap, Aravi. Okay, you guys. Okay, you guys. Everyone, listen to the dream I had, and then I'm going to explain the dream I had. Okay. Yes, everyone loves hearing about other people's dreams. This is a well-known fact. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> once upon a time, and the time was last night, I went to sleep and I had a dream, and this is the dream I had. I was walking through the woods and I got lost, which obviously indicates that in real life, I'm definitely 100% sure of what I'm doing, which is why my subconscious needed a break from being so sure. Mm -hmm. A bear came out of the bushes and he offered me an ice cream cone. The ice cream cone was pink, which proves I don't have any unresolved issues with my brother's disappearance. <laughs> <laughs> 
the sprinkles on the ice cream cone turned into dolphins, and they flew into the sky and swam through the clouds, meaning that I am a badass destined to conquer the very stars. The bear invited me to crochet. <laughs> Is it crochet or croquet? Okay, okay, okay. cool. The bear invited me to croquet, but oh yeah, mallets. But the mallets were actually the corpses of all my friends who have, who had each been killed in painful, horrible ways as a result of my failures. Which shows that I am a healthy, well-adjusted person, and the therapy totally worked. So you see, camp director Miss Leaving, this proves that Nora is my therapist and not my pet. I'm going to give you the fairy bag. Just on the off chance, she is your therapist because you clearly have a lot of issues to work through, Miss Mishwa. Ha! Shows how much she knows about dream analysis. A lot of issues to work through. Ridiculous! Right, Nora? <laughs> right. Right, Nora? Right? Am I right? Tell me I'm right, Nora! Nora, right? Ravi. Why do you think it's so important for you to feel like you're winning at therapy and uh, and are cured of your issues? Therapy is a process. <laughs> a process in which I explain my awesome dreams! Let me tell you about the one I had with the woolly mammoths and Boo Paul's Drag Race. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nora Robbie. dutifully listens to Aravi's dreams, including the part where she and Chungus got up to something she won't specify. Nice! You get two bonus and one smart. Oh heck, it's my birthday on the East Coast now, y'all. Shit. Thanks, uh, it's not here, Thanks, though. Pie Man. I your know. birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. It's my birthday. I mean, it was my birthday in Scotland a real long time ago, so. It's your birthday, so... but five hours ago in Australia. <laughs> y'all right? Damn. Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, you get two smarts. Good job. That's crazy. You ride a bear. It's great. You ride a bear. It's great. It's no, wow. <laughs> it's just so good. You link up with Joy so you can practice summoning a wokeness elemental. Uh, you've just comp you've just composed the necessary tweet and drawn the sigil the, the sigils in ethically source lamb's blood when Oh shit. Fuck. God damn it. Hey, you kids! Stop getting blood <coughs> on your ass. Why? Uh because it's my grass, that's why. I just bought this camp to turn it into a shopping mall. And the only blood I want spilled on my land is the blood of commerce. Also orphans, if it's profitable. What? You can't buy this summer camp. It's a source of happiness for so many people. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there a law that says things that, ne uh, that make people happy can't be bulldozed? Never mind. I don't give a shit about laws. I'm rich. <laughs> You won't get away with this. Good always triumphs in the end. I'm done, sugar. Uh, you'll love it. <laughs> I'll put two hot topics in there so you'll always be one and uh, you'll always have one to turn to when the other one gets too mainstream. Well, that's very appealing. I'm not gonna lie to you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> now go get yourself another black mesh something and let me uh, let the men work. Mm. Fuck, dude. The CEO wanders off with his tape measure to figure out exactly how many shopper image outlets he can fit in the dome, leaving you alone with a fuming joy. Heck. Ugh, I wanna punch that dick right in his asshole. Ew. <laughs> You're right? Ew. It's like how Damien feels all the time, but for reasons. <laughs> He's right, though. We can't rely on natural, f yeah, na fucking natural forces to stop him. <laughs> Our only it. hope, is, I was gonna say fucking on nature, and I'm like, that's not right, Gary. Fucking to stop him. Our only hope is to turn to the supernatural. Uh, Joy whips out the biggest spell book you've ever seen and slams it down on the grass. Uh, geez, where has she been keeping that thing? This is the Tome of Bukunin. I don't Bakunin. fucking know. Bakunin. 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 The most powerful collection of anti-capitalist magics ever assembled. Oh. There must be something in here that can put an end to this man's horrible schemes. But what? You search the ancient pages for the perfect spell. You narrow it down to the two options. Sacrifice a thousand shares of Fortune 500 stock to summon the invisible hand of the market. Or uh, construct the only artifact powerful enough to imprison a Monopoly man. The go-to-jail card. Hmm. Let's see here. Fucking, uh... Okay, cool. Uh, I'm cheating, by the way. Uh... 
God damn it. Beep! <laughs> I'm gonna sacrifice a bunch of people. And chairs. Murder them dead. Gary. Sorry, I'm messaging Eagle Bags. He's wishing me happy birthday. Also, there's fan like, art. Oh my god. There's my fan art. Oh, my, fan art. oh my god. I'm so angry. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Uh... Dean, they need you to stop. Also, I'm probably gonna make Izzy make these emotes over on something with you, just so you know. <laughs> just... Perfect. Oh my god, they're so good. Mm -hmm. Dean. Now read your line. Fuck, all right, fuck, here I go. Okay. Uh, but, you know, that just might work. Now, mo most ordinary witches wouldn't just have a thousand shares of Fortune 500 stock lying around. But luckily, the Coven and I rescued Fortuna, Roman goddess, Roman goddess of luck, from her secret prison beneath Las Vegas. So, she owes me one. Mm -hmm. Or should I say, she owes me one thousand. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, true to her word, Joy soon, uh, Joy soon has a thousand shares of extremely valuable stock. You sacrifice them all by setting the receipts on fire while, hor while horrified stockbrokers look on. The stock broke apart isn't a necessary part of the ritual. You just love the look on their faces. The ritual is complete, and I and I feel it. The dark presence swiftly approaching. The invisible hand of the market. They say the invisible hand has the power to make the poor rich and the rich poor. They say it topples kings and destroys empires. A cold Whoa. wind whips through camp, and you suddenly feel the presence of something invisible and fingery. Ugh. But according to my research, it's actually just a really mean hand that nobody can see. <laughs> Isn't that right, invisible hand? You hear a satisfied snapping sound from somewhere nearby. It's here! It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, invisible hand, wanna go prank a CEO? He's right over there. The wind whips past you. The hand is on the move! Excellent. Now all we have to do is watch and wait. Ow! What's this? A wedgie? And my wallet is missing! No, no! No, please! Miss, Mr. Invisible Hand, sir! Don't play your financial pranks on me! I've always been on your been your loyal servant! Stop pinching my button and posting inflammatory tweets about my business for a second and listen to me! I'm on your side! I'm on your side! What are you doing? No! Don't use high frequency short selling to, uh, to undermine my business share piece prices! You're mad! And worst of all, I can't tell whether you're flipping me off or not because you're invisible! <laughs> Curses! You win this time, you ver- you vivac vivacious? Vivacious, yep. yeah. Vivacious summer campers! But I'll make peace with this mischievous hand and I'll be back! You hear me? I'll be back! Hell yeah. Wow, that was even better than I expected. You're a natural magician, Noodles. You're not I'm right. a little <laughs> You're right. <laughs> um, oh my god. I'm a little disturbed that our entire world economy is controlled by that shitty hand. <laughs> but then again, it's not like I love capitalism in the first place. Neither did you. Oh, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Neither did you. The only love you feel is for the radical t uh, this uh, the radical witch standing right in front of you. You gain two charm and one fun. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. All right, choose a food. Oh, heck. White cheddar um, cheetah. <laughs> of course. Hmm. Wait, Timbits. A, a cheetah? <laughs> what? You, oh. you said a cheetah? <laughs> no, white cheddar Cheetos. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant just a cheetah. And I was like, <laughs> what have you been eating? <laughs> <laughs> oh, heck. All right, so Chris Timbits, Cheetah, Cheetah. or Cheeto. Yeah. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, the, I'm on the, 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 the sausages. Hell yeah. Cool. Play orders decided based on which food would kill you the fastest. <laughs> you only ate that food forever. Sausage, Aaron ones. Uh, Cheetos? Really? Dude, they're basically air. Sausages will fuck you up. <laughs> oh. Mm hmm. Uh, okay. I'm pretty uh, sure. What did you get? What did you have? Yeah, what did I you had say Timbits, here? so like fucking donut holes. <laughs> oh, I see. But you're also pretty well, fucking bad for you. Yeah. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Chungus. 
One sec. Oh, that works too. I was just gonna make chat decide. Oh, fair. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, you can still make chat decide who's fucking second or third. We could, we could random just it, random it. They're, yeah. they're all pretty bad for you, honestly, yeah. if you're in forever. Yeah. But I feel like sausage is like the fucking worst. I don't know, man. Random. Damn. Yeah. It. You fucking <laughs> slut. <laughs> 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 Dude, we're gonna have to speed this the fuck up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, man. Alright, creativity. That day you get to creativity. Good job. Pottery clash poggers. <laughs> oh, so cute! She's so cute. Oh my god. You find joy in one of the unused classrooms, kicking back with your heavily anni uh, annotated copy of the Necroman Necrono Necronomicon. There we go. Did it. Oh, hey, Noodles. You're not here to drag me into any wacky hijinks, are you? I mean, <clears throat> you could if she wanted you to. No, no, no. I've more than met my quota for wild antics, and what the fuck? Ep epoch to finding? Ep ep epic? E yeah, epoch. Epoch? epoch? Okay. What the fuck does that mean? Epoch is a uh, measurement of time. Oh, I did not know that. There you go. Yeah. An epoch defining quest this season. <laughs> you know what? I just had to perform an exorcism on a turnip. An enormous, <laughs> bloodthirsty turnip. Somebody somewhere is running out of ideas. All I want to do now is relax and catch up on my occult reading. But even that seems to be too much to ask. I tried reading by the lake, but some of the stupid green mist ke yeah, yeah, but some kind of stupid green mist keeps rolling off the water and strangling everyone. <laughs> I tried reading in the woods, but the fairies wouldn't stop trying to make ridiculous deals. <laughs> the haunted manor is a haunted manor. Thanks. Uh, and the camp dome is like 85% rotating saw blades. So, here I am, in the only halfway normal place at this camp. It's actually been pretty peaceful here since I found this room. Uh, if you want, you're welcome to join me. No crazy stunts uh, to win my affection, though. Just nice, quiet... Aaron! Coach Taka. Really? Oh, <laughs> Not proper safety precautions? Joy, I thought you were smarter than this. <laughs> 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 Hecate, help me. What safety precautions? Oh no, it's even worse than I thought. Can it be that you're not even aware of reading as many dangers? Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be some kind of Orwellian censorship thing, isn't it? It sure is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get that reference because I have a healthy fear of reading that has kept me alive and safe for many years. <laughs> All right, coach. What are the dangers of reading? Where do I even start? Paper cuts, neck strain, eye strain, and worst of all, catching too many ideas. <laughs> there it is. I I know you're a gym teacher, coach, but anti-intellectualism is real is a really bad look. You know what makes an even worse look? Getting crushed under a pile of books because you didn't watch where you were going at the library. I will rest until you're safe from books. <laughs> Holy shit! Damien, get my matches. <laughs> <laughs> You got it. <laughs> uh, and neither of them are likely to back down, which means you won't get to practice sustained silent reading with joy, unless you can oh prove to coach that you've already uh, that you're already a master of reading safety. Let's see, what's a piece of reading safety advice that will really impress him, and never get your book wet, or feed it, or feed it after midnight, or mm. always check before reading. Is this a book or somebody's mouth? <laughs> oh, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Almost all your stats are in the double digits, so I think you're good. Uh, it's very Gross possible. Bitch. <laughs> Gross fuck. Hate you. Slug, bitch. You just always have to be levels above us, don't you? Yes. Mm hmm. Yes, I do. Mm hmm. Obviously. Uh. Hmm. Mm. Fucking ego, I just saw Epoch is two bucks, sister. God <laughs> damn it, ego. <laughs> I got it. Yay! Hooray! You took the words right out of my book. <laughs> I mean, wow. my mouth. You see, it's so hard to tell the difference between the two. <laughs> no, it's really not. 
Oh, really, Miss Smarty Pants? Then why did they take me until the age of 24 to realize that 60% of the books I read up until that point were actually mouths? <laughs> Holy shit, Coach. Because you're an insane person? Because books are extremely similar to mouths. Fact. <laughs> Books have two covers. Mouths have two lips. <laughs> Fact. Books contain lots of words. So do people's mouths. Oh. Fact. Most books and most mouths contain an average of 20 <laughs> <laughs> 28 to 32 days. <laughs> okay, I was going to disagree, but some of the books I, I read do actually have teeth. So fair enough, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Joy. Oh, I put God. a lot of thought into this. I even wrote a book about it. <laughs> <laughs> and you would just cut off a mouth. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was never published because it wasn't a book. It was someone's mouth. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> I won't give up though. I swear one day I will no longer mistake people's mouths for books or vice versa. I'm uh, so proud of you, Coach. That means a lot, Joy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm late for what is either a dental appointment or a book club meeting. I'm still not sure which. <laughs> Holy fuck. I love Coach uh, so much. He's so good. Uh, mm -hmm. Coach hurries off to continue the, the comedy of errors that is his life, leaving you alone with Joy. I can't believe that actually got rid of him. I guess you, I guess you just understand Coach better than I do. Like a monster with, yeah, I like a monster with an understanding of psychology. I'm pretty sure I can tell him out from a book, but maybe we can conduct some research on each other's mouths someday. Oh, oh <gasps> damn! Sploosh. That was your dick. <laughs> you getting too fun <laughs> one charm? Oh, Sploosh goes the penis. Oh, goes oh the penis. geez. Once um, again. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get fun so Aaron can get some bowl this. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, she's so cute. Oh, <laughs> right, hey, you get too fun. Good job. Heck yeah. Uh, you're oh. walking along the shore a little while later when you stumble across Damien. Like, literally stumble across him because he's <laughs> crouched in the sand yelling at some crabs. Mm. Don't you fucking ignore me. I know you can hear me. I mean, I don't technically know you can hear me. I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure hermit crabs have ears, but that's no excuse. Mm. Oh, hey, birdie. Uh, maybe you can help me out of here. Uh, help me out here. These hermit crabs have a fight club, and I'm trying to join. You look, da you look where Damien is pointing, and sure enough, you see a circle of hermit crabs surrounding two beefy crab combatants. Uh, oh. They're really going at it. Oh shit! These two are regulars. That's Sylvester Shalone on the left, the other <laughs> one, uh, and the one on the right is Jean Claude Van Damme. Jean Claude Van Damme. No, that's go. Jean. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I've been having a great time watching them fuck, you know, fuck each other up. But when I, when I asked if I could fight, they just ignored me. It's like, I get it. The first rule of hermit crab fight club is don't talk, don't talk at all because you're hermit crabs. But still, I have just as much right to join their club as anybody. I mean, what have they got that I haven't got? Claws, a hard ch uh, chitinous, chitinous <laughs> exoset. I don't what? know. Chitinous. Chitinous. What the fuck A hard does that chitinous mean? exoskeleton? A shell? Uh -huh. Ah, fuck. What's this? Uh, that's the problem, isn't it? No shell. I bet if I had a shell, they'd let me join. Mm. Well, you know what? I'm gonna get a shell so sick that all these crabs will shit themselves. Oh. Do crabs shit? Doesn't matter. My shell's gonna be so sick, it'll teach them to shit themselves, and then they'll do it. Hell yeah. I just, uh... Need to figure out what they uh, use, uh, what to use as my shell. Any ideas? Oh yes, you've got an idea, all right. Uh, listen to this stupid bullshit. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, let's emotionally torment some poor bastard until he's an empty shell, and then you can, <laughs> and then you can wear him. Or wow. You need a shell made out of something really hard. What about calculus? That's definitely <laughs> smarts. Um. Oh, fuck. Yeah, my smarts suck. Mm. Um. Emotionally torment feels like a social thing. Mm. And I'm guessing it might charm. be charm. Charm is all things that require people skills. It's either charm or boldness, but I'm, it sounds like charm. Yeah. yeah, my charm is higher than my smarts. So yeah, either way, I think the top one's the way to go. Heck. So bold, hey. It's bold, thank God. 
Oh, I'm walking my way through this, boys. Yeah, you are. <laughs> like, oh. hey, that's a great idea. It combines my love of emotionally maiming people with my love of joining hermit crab fight clubs. <laughs> but where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> but where are we going to find a poor bastard to verbally eviscerate? Just then, a corpse washes ashore, uh, on shore. It's clearly been out of the lake, uh, out in the lake for weeks. Kind of shocking that you couldn't tell that from the sh from the smell it's making now. Whoa! Hey, look at this. Hey, look at this bag of bones. Now this guy died wearing that. If someone put me in a coffin wearing these these sorry ass clothes, I'd come back to life just to beat the shit out of the coroner. The corpse says nothing, but based on its frozen expression and the miasma of death, you can tell it's a little offended. How'd this ugly motherfucker die anyway? Drowning? Oh, what a noob. Water is, like, the lamest fucking element of them all. I'd be, uh, I'd rather be caught dead than be caught dead on a lake. A single tail rolls out of the corpse's eye, then a whole gush of water spills forth because this body is pretty waterlogged. <laughs> oh no, what's wrong, fuck Belle? You gonna cry? You gonna cry because you're a little unfashionable drowning piss baby? Well, wow. too fucking bad. You're dead. <laughs> Damien, sticks, uh, Damien kicks the corpse hard. It rolls over onto its stomach to reveal a giant hermit crab shell attached to its back. Whoa, it worked! <laughs> I insulted the corpse until it became an empty shell, and it worked! You're a mad fucking genius, Birdie! I got you, boy. Hi, the power of coincidence is strong here at Camp Spooky. Damien rips the shell off of the corpse's back. A lot of, the, a lot of his nasty skin comes with it, too. Uh, oh. Puts it on and runs to join the hermit crabs. The hermit crabs are all extremely impressed by how willing, da uh, willing Damien was to alienate the corpse like that. Hermit crabs are bastards. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, the bastards. <laughs> the bastards. Uh, right. Damien is admitted to the Fight Club and given the name Chuck Norris because of his Hell signature yeah. move, chucking all the other crabs into the lake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you make a killing bottle. Uh, you make a killing betting on him, but you trade it all for two charm and one bold. Wow. Dude, look at the fucking art Raven did. That's uh, not okay. <laughs> Oh, you okay. absolute bitch! Jesus. <laughs> this last one's for you. I hope you're okay. Love you. Shit. I grew right. I'm not okay. You're never okay. Well, they hurt me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I am okay. Yeah, right. Uh, where are you going I'll there, Chungus? Spooky mansion. Spooky mansion. That day you get too bold. Good job. Crazy. Oh, spooky. Oh, you see wow, stuff you're so spooky. Brave. Now you follow the unmistakable scent of adventure into a dimly lit corner of the mansion and discover... <gasps> oh, fuck. I'm about to get real tired. Yeah, you are. I'm just saying, speaking from experience, that it's a bad form to slaughter a demon without f without first giving him a chance to change his ways, slash join your team, slash become <laughs> your hot demon lover. Yo, this bitch much Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> she is Buffy. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Like, yeah. she, she's a weird combination of Buffy and They're Charmed and all that Buffy. shit. Like, we have yeah. Buffy and we have Witch Buffy. It's yeah. true. You're correct. And I'm just saying that you don't collect XP for talking your way out of combat encounters. Sometimes. You oh, do. I've gotten all kinds of experiences from talking my way out of combat encounters. If you catch my meaning. Like what? More boring conversations to skip through? God, I can't believe Robbie's Wogan. <laughs> How do you skip through a conversation? I find that if I punch someone in the neck while they're talking, they <laughs> usually stop and we can skip to the fighting. It's a great speedrunning strat. <laughs> Look, I respect your approach to adventuring and the fearless way you interact <laughs> with cursed artifacts. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> cursed artifacts. What's up? Hell yeah. But... It takes more than unbridled violence to be a true protagonist. And I respect you, both as a strong, independent woman with a wicked fashion sense and someone who's managed to make an all an all caster party work without a tank. That's fair. Yeah. But you wouldn't last 10 seconds against the types of demons I fight. Oh, I wouldn't, would I? Sounds like the only way to settle this argument is by putting our claims to the test. 
I'll summon a demon, we'll both fight it, and we'll see whose strategy is superior. Hold on to your wand there, Sabrina! If you're the one oh, summoning shit. the demon, what, I know, right? What's to stop you from summoning one that's more vulnerable to your approach? Ooh, ooh, I can summon a demon, Aravi. All I need is like two of your vertebrae, three taps. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about we find someone else? Fine, we'll have an impartial third party summon a demon we can both fight. An impartial third party like you, Chungus. You know how to summon a, uh, how to draw a summoning sigil, right? It's first year material at Spooky High, so only a huge idiot wouldn't be able to. Yeah, yeah. Crip, uh, you spend most of that class drawing porn in your bo in your notebook instead of drawing sigils. So it looks like uh, it looks like it's time to bullshit. But like, how hard can it really be, right? Uh, right. Sigils are basically drawings, right? So just draw a demon. You're great at drawing not uh, drawing hot demons. Or, mm. or draw every sigil you know: a smiley face, the Batman logo, and the tiny dude from the walk from the walk symbol on traffic lights. I don't want charm or fun. I think the first one is <laughs> creativity. Yeah. Mm. Um. But uh. Let's yeah. go, smiley face. Hell yeah. How about? So <gasps> hell yeah, you did All it. All right. You borrow Joy's summoning chalk and sketch the, the mystic symbols on the wooden floor. What are you, Chungus? Is that supposed to be a summoning sigil or wingdings? <laughs> Shh. Let's see how this plays out. Yeah, some demons are into some really weird shit. Like, I used to let myself get someone for bags of Doritos and a picture of Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you're a demon? No. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> Shh, something's happening. And sure enough, a thick green smoke has billowed up from the floor and filled the room. When it clears, you'll see before you... A terrifying creature with a perpetually smiling face. It cackles and brandishes its claws. You fools, it cries. It is I, the Smiler. For centuries, I have been imprisoned with a pedestrian. What <laughs> signal in New York City? Oh, God. Uh, many have drawn my sigil, the smiley face, but only Chungus, who is reckless enough to combine it with the sigil of the Inferno Cage that held me! Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, why the Batman symbol? How does that help? How does that help to summon you? Wait! Uh, says the creature, looking around. The Batman symbol? That's not for summoning me, that's for summoning. A window shatters and in swings Batman in the wings of night. Yeah! <laughs> he lands amongst you and your friends, and the smiler rears back into shock and horror. Batman, think the gods are here. How do we, how do we defeat this terrible demon? In my experience, says Batman darkly, the best approach is a combination of love, violence, technology, and a and a psychological warfare. Also, being very, very rich. Hell yeah. It looks like we'll have our, uh, yeah, we'll have to work together, Aravi. Quick, I'll tempt him to join the forces of good with my empathetic words and luscious <laughs> body. You sneak up and stab him. Now that's the kind of plan I can get behind. Stabs ahoy! Sometimes, oh, yeah. despite having loudly announced their plan, it totally succeeds. The Smiler has been defeated and Batman banished him to Arkham Asylum. Nice. You've all learned a valuable lesson about teamwork and about what a chill dude Batman is. Hex even gets his autograph. As for you, you get two bonus and one charm. Fuck Can't believe Brosman saved the day. I'm so happy. Oh shit. <laughs> you're also, right. Aaron, look at the fan art. It's, it's very cute. It's very cute. Also, I you're very cute. That. Fucking got him. Ah, adorable. Fan art. It's so good. It's so cute. It's the just boy. so cute. Everybody choose a fictional character. We've been getting um, this one a whole lot. Hmm. What? We've been getting this one a whole lot. There we thinking have. about it. Yeah. Uh, mm. Let's see. Mm. Naruto. Bakugo. Oh. Cool Josh. Nice. Cool Josh. <laughs> Player has decided based on which fictional character would be the best companion in the life or death scenario. Let's oh, start shit. debating now. Fucking if you think oh, Damien's well. not in a life or death scenario right now, I don't know what to tell you. Well, I feel Damien like Damien isn't is cool, random. Josh. 
Cool Josh is I'm in, cool he's, Josh. He's in a life or death scenario, and Cool Josh is being oh, an amazing companion. That's ah, fair. Um, all that's right, fair. okay. I feel like this is random, honestly. Mm. Carrie, what was yours? <laughs> Bakugo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yep. Random. Hell yeah! <laughs> And Aaron gets fucked again. <laughs> Once more. Why Once can't again. I just get normally fucked? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucked in video games. All right, Carrie, you want to go sit by yourself? You want to sit next to the bot? You want to sit next to Ravi? You want to sit next to David? Listen. We don't have to sit next to each other. All of our picks are on separate fucking logs. Put me next to Damien. Uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. You look across the campfire and see Damien and Milo playing backgam uh, backgammon. As a secret backgammon mm. champion yourself, you just have to play winner. Mm. Uh, but as soon as you arrive... Yeah! Wow, flipping the board when you lose. What a surprise. If you kept playing, you'd get good soon enough. No! I don't want to keep playing! This game is stupid and the board cheated! You realize well. you always do this, right? <laughs> do what? No, I don't! I always keep things spicy and unpredictable! What do I always do? You're wrong! Wow. You do try new things, explore new hobbies, new signs of yourself, but one false move and you're back to the old crime and arson and anger issues shtick. What's that about, buddy? Well, I just, you know, crimes and arson are kind of my thing, you know? At Spooky High, that was pretty much all I did, unless people knew my secret sides. Mm. I've already I've already toned that way, way down at Camp Spooky. Mm -hmm. What if my reputation suffers? I'm Damien LaVey, bitches! Legendary bad boy! Oh my god. But here there's just generally less crime and arson to do. And also... I, I know I do a good job at hiding this, but I'm not exactly the best at wilderness survival skills. Oh! You do not do a good job at hiding it. I I know that. Uh, we all know that. <laughs> <laughs> you tried to set up a tent using a katana. Exactly. Wow. And I didn't even stab anyone with it. What if I'm losing my edge? What if people stop liking me? Oh, no. I'm sure they won't. Don't you think people will love you even more when they find out about your secret passion for makeup or your mm -hmm. adorable relationship with your dads? Mm -hmm. Or over there for some reason? <laughs> and even if you didn't, who cares? Life is about finding what makes you happy, not what you think will make other people happy. In fact, if Camp Spooky Damien already has more dimension than Camp Spooky High Damien, imagine what after Camp Spooky Damien will be like. We need to brainstorm your next evolution. Oh, you oh. love brainstorming and interfering in other people's lives. You know mm -hmm. Damien's next move for show. Uh, oh, yeah. Crimes, arson, and makeup. But rocking an exciting new facial hairstyle. New beard, new you. Oh, oh my god. After summer camp, get ready for the ultimate evolution. Or should we say quadruple revolution? It's figure skating, Damien. Oh no. Both of these I sound don't... wonderful. I know, I don't know. I think the top one's Damien. I can't tell. One involves just growing a beard and still doing crimes and arson. The yeah. other one mm. is like being kind of fabulous. So yeah, yeah. I follow that. Top okay, top yeah. Three. Okay, we'll go to the top one. Okay. Bye. Oh, yeah. oh thank God. Yeah, now we're talking. That's the kind of new experience I'd totally be open to. But that's not a new experience at all. That's two things you're most known for. Plus the one secret passion you're already starting to be known for. No, uh new facial hair is an exciting new adventure and totally counts as switching it up. Don't you see? It's actually almost impossible for me to grow facial hair. Oh. Probably because my chiseled jawline and cheekbones are so rock solid that the hair follicles can't burst through the toughness to grow properly. <gasps> Holy Damn, fuck. <laughs> As an aspiring hairstylist, you must know that's not how that works. All I know is that nothing's better than arson, except for arson while rocking a sweet Rasputin beard. Fuck or, yeah, bitch. Or I could rock some mutton chops while mutton chopping up a safe, up a, up a safe during a bank heist. Yes, or bitch, get it. Or sport a sporty handlebar mustache while unsportingly uh. removing the handlebars from my bike, thus sabotaging a race and winning millions of dollars. 
And I'm no longer comfortable having my brand associated with yours. Goodbye, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Hell yeah. They just don't understand your brilliance, Birdie. Your vision of my facial hair is far beyond its time. Thanks, bitch. You are a goatee Nostradamus. Also, what kind of facial hair do we think Nostradamus had? Because I could wear that to pre- uh, I could wear that to predict my next ar my next arsons. Hell yeah. You're pretty sure that predicting your own actions just means planning, but why bother correcting <laughs> Damien at this point? Oh. Instead, the two of you debate that uh, what facial hair would be most flattering, which gives you a, gives you an opportunity to stare intently at his face all night without coming across as creepy. Yes, Living bitch. the dream, <laughs> the goateed, mutton-chopped, handlebar stat, <laughs> handlebar stash, crime and arson, and makeup, but with a mustache doing dream. Ah! Ah! Holy shit. Holy shit, yes. Oh, man. Uh. Uh, you're scouring the ground for any dropped s'mores or lost wallets or, or other fun paraphernalia uh, for you to take, like some kind of horny young adult vulture. Uh, of but course. instead of finding any of that, you find Dolly and Joy having an argument. The most fun uh, thing of all. All right, Joy. I'm ready. I've been prepping for this all day. Lay it on me. Uh, lay what on you? The coven test, of course. <laughs> Oh, Hecate, help me. I know I'm gonna regret asking this, but what the hell is the coven test? <clears throat> don't act like you don't know, silly. It's the test for me to join the coven. I've been prepping for this harder than I've ever prepped for anything. I spent like 20 minutes studying. <laughs> Ugh, Dahlia, I've told you a million times, the coven does not work that way and you cannot join, period. <laughs> you almost had me there, Joy. But I know better. This is the final part of the test where you test my will and resilience in the face of adversity. You're seeing if I'll stay in the game by making me believe that there is no game. But I know your tricks. I will only fall for it. <laughs> I love her so much. Uh... <laughs> Damn it, I'm not trying to trick you. There's no such thing as a coven test. Oh, really? Then how do you explain this letter I received stating that I've made it to the very exclusive final stage of the coven test? What? Give me that. <laughs> Talia, you obviously wrote this letter to yourself. No, it's totally legit! It was delivered to my tent by a magical raven this morning! <laughs> Then why is it addressed to Dahlia Aquino, buffest blue babe of all? Also, you misspelled Joy. No, I didn't. Your name always had a silent D. <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia, I'm sick of your shit. This letter is meaningless and you are not taking a coven test because there is no test. Yup, gotcha. So th <laughs> there's going to be an oral section. Is there going to be an oral section of this test? <clears throat> also, is it cool if I mark my answers in blue glitter pen? <laughs> it's the only writing utensil worthy of me. Oh, uh, I love her so much. Uh, I love her so much. Uh, there's no way this argument is going to end anytime soon. Obviously, Dahlia isn't going to let uh, let go of this test thing. So what is the true test to entering the coven? Hmm. Only three witches can form the coven. So in order for Dahlia to join, one of the current members must die. Fuck. Uh, Dahlia, to become part of the coven, you must spend 30 years as a hermit far away from here. That, ugh. ooh, fuck. I wish I wasn't on the fucking joy path. I know, <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, there you go. Wait, is that true? Um, yep, totally true. I did it, and so did Hope and Faith. It was difficult, but we persevered. All in the name of the Coven or something. I see. You know, it honestly makes so much sense. Spending 30 years as a hermit would be the perfect test of Coven resilience. The coven is near about flagrant displays of strength and sexiness, though I do bring those to the table. <laughs> it's about hard work and doing things no one else has the strength to do. Like living as a hermit, despite it sounding like a really stupid idea. D sure. <laughs> well then, I won't let you down, Joy. I'll be the best damn hermit this coven's ever seen. See you in 30 years. <laughs> well, that worked out nicely. Thanks, Noodles. I really appreciate your help. 
Hey, what are friends for if not lying to your other friends? You enjoy spend the next uh, you enjoy spend the next couple hours laughing and talking. Uh, before you know it, it's almost sunrise. Hey guys, I'm back! Wow, I can't believe how young you guys look. These past three decades have been really good to you. <laughs> In any event, I'm happy to report I'm back and ready to join the coven. <laughs> what? But you've only been gone for seven hours, tops. Are you serious? Fuck, I'm being a hermit so boring. How oh, could this one have been at least a decade? <laughs> There's no way I can do this. I can't spend 30 whole years living in the forest and eating wood to end. <laughs> Wait, eating wood? Why are you eating wood? Because that's what hermits do, duh. It's like their main thing. Dahlia, are you thinking of termites? Oh, damn, I think I was. Oh, <laughs> silly me. <laughs> Thanks for setting the record straight. Uh... So if termites are the ones that eat wood, Hermits are the frogs who cheat on their pig girlfriends by having a giant man stick his hand up their asses, right? What? Kermit! Oh, God, Kermit. no, Dolly, me. Oh, no. Dolly means Kermit. <laughs> you need to explain to her how her puppets work. I love her so much. I love her so much. Uh, uh, oh, well, at least you got to spend the evening getting cozy with joy. You'd endure any weird sexual Muppet conversation to have that experience again. Hell yeah, bitch. I assume you want to go here. Give me my girl. <laughs> my girl. <laughs> Alright. Talking about me. Uh, <laughs> you just finished your uh, your quarterly review. It went awesome. Your boss thinks you're doing a great job playing this video game. You're, help uh, you're hoping to celebrate your corporate uh, comp uh, competency uh, with some pals and good news. You find a Robbie and Calculus to buy the campfire. Oh, yeah. Uh, in conclusion, those are the 18,208 reasons I have collected to convince you that we should plant, uh, paint our food truck the statistically best color, burnt orange. This is so fun. Nope. Sounds glorious, Cal. God, this food truck is going to be so sick. I'm going to reach level 18 in my merchant skill tree so fast. <laughs> Guys, I just had the trillest food truck idea. Oh, we heck. We should mini Victoria's sponge cakes for dessert. Oh. They were the technical challenge recipe for the GBBO season five finale. So dope. Hell, hell yeah, bitch. Hicks watches the Great British Bake Off. Uh, that's your favorite show. You give them the secret G uh, GBBO handshake that all true cake heads know. Cake heads. Nice. It's sick that you like GB that GBBO, Chungus. I also love reality TV in general. Much of the best thing right now. Have you guys seen 90 Day Adoption? <laughs> oh my god. I have not seen it. I am aware that the show exists, but have been unable to watch it due to my current parental control browser settings. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. Reality TV bores the shit out of me. They always edit out the really good violence. Holy shit, you guys aren't watching 90 Day Adoption? <laughs> it's the ultimate reality show. And now I'm gonna tell you all everything about it and you can't stop me. <laughs> shit. So basically, the show is like The Bachelor, <laughs> but for well, orphans. <laughs> so each season, there's this new set of parents and they adopt six orphans and choose which one they want to keep. But the crazy part is the parents have never met each other face to face. So they fell in love and got married while only communicating through walkie talkies. Oh my God. Holy shit. And if the parents don't complete enough intimacy challenges, they have to let their exes raise the children for a day. Ah! Needless to say, the drama is absolutely the best part. Yo, but like I'd watch that though. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I am <laughs> pleased that you are enjoying the show. <laughs> <laughs> but I am afraid I may be unable to watch it. I can only process a limited amount of drama per hour. I thought I was safe watching my favorite reality show, Terrace House. Uh, but then I had to process all the emotional me nuance in the meat incident. I almost ran out of battery. Bah. Yeah, these shows are never worth the time to watch them. It's always like one five minute clip of a headbutt and then it's just replay over and over. Okay, you guys, I hear you, and I get the show isn't for everyone. 
but I haven't even told you about the elimination challenges yet. Just wait until you hear this. Oh my God. Oh dear, this is stressful. I may be overheating. Is my fan whirring louder than normal? Uh-oh, looks like your two, bo uh, two bonable friends aren't totally obsessed with reality TV. And that's a deal breaker for you. Uh, quick, bring up a show that you know they'll love. Now, uh, what about Undercover Final Boss? It's got brutal violence and there's tons of drama when the boss finally reveals their glowing red weak point. Or, well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you guys seen The Turning Test? Are you human enough? It's family friendly, <laughs> drama free, and teaches you a lot about human social cues. Mm -hmm. I wonder which one you're gonna pick. I wonder which one Aaron's gonna pick. Obviously, it's gonna be the sure no. <laughs> <laughs> Undercover final boss. Bam! Fuck. Uh, why did I decide to start eating now? Fuck. Fuck him. Shut up. Oh. She just rudely left and cooked a steak for like the first, like, third <laughs> You alright? I know. How dare I? <laughs> like, that sounds awesome! I love any content related to final boss fights, final boss strategies, or even final boss flavor text. OMG, Aravi, it is so good and you would love it. Honestly, it's so crazy that you haven't seen it yet because it's like made for you. Let's yeah. watch it. <laughs> you went yeah. at your phone. Briefly thank God that you kept your Disney Plus subscription and pull up no, pull up <laughs> an episode of Undercover Final Boss. It's welcome fucking Disney Plus. <laughs> welcome back to another episode of Undercover Final Boss. This time, we'll be following Flaming Lizard King Bowser as he goes Hi. undercover in the Koopa Kingdom. Oh, shit. Holy shit, Bowser's in this show? Fuck, that's a huge get. I didn't realize we were talking A-list bosses here. I know. The cast of the show is literally bonkers. And look, the first thing they make Bowser do as an intern is intern as a Goomba. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, oh dear. I'm not quite sure, but it seems that Grumpy Lizard is having trouble waddling as convincingly as those moving brown lumps. How stressful. Ooh, and here's the part where they have Bowser talk to some of his most underpaid troops about their financial struggles. So juicy, lol. <laughs> what the fuck? One employee shares with Bowser that he's working four jobs so he can take his daughter to Disneyland. Bowser oh. finds this hilarious and openly laughs at his, at his employee's property. <laughs> throwing hammers. All I do is look left and oh. throw hammers. Sometimes oh. I jump, <laughs> but really... It's just throwing hammers. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, and now you feel less bad about all those times you made Bowser fall into the pool of lava when playing Mario Bros. <laughs> hmm. Uh, and now, after a long day of empathizing with his employees, undercover final boss Bowser is ready to tearfully admit his weak spot. It's his big, soft belly. Damn! That show was so fucking good. You see how long they zoomed in on that weak spot? Talk about fan service. I'm eating over <laughs> watching the show, Hex. It's great. <laughs> yes, girl. I'm so glad you like it. And don't worry, there are 18 more seasons of this. Uh, What'd you think, Calculus? Processing error. Overwhelming class inequality. Reset needed for emotional detection. Features. Calculus's error. Uh, Calculus's error protocol. Uh, programs kick in. So he leaves to go find the nearest charging outlet. Hey, Chungus. Uh... Want to watch another episode? This show was your idea, and it turned out to be pretty fucking cool. So, if you want to, yeah. only if you should watch your weak spot. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! shit. Giddy. You binge watched the entire oh. first season of Undercover Final Boss Dying. on your phone, and Arabi has cut it up to you the whole time. You discovered that Arabi's shampoo smells like leather, and that Hex oh. strongly emits the scent of string cheese. You're oh. equally turned on from both smells. Nice. Nice. Bring out okay, your flask. I'm, so, I'm so afraid. I only uh, needed the genie flask, and if we gamble, we could fuck everything up. We could. Let's let's but, gamble. Let's we'll fucking do all it. Right. It's a game. Of course, you want to fucking gamble. Let's do it. <laughs> That weekend, you feel like getting okay. wasted, so you go visit none other than one. Meow. <laughs> Hell yeah. <Hola. laughs> oh, so cute. Yeah. You know, when I started making magical drinks, I never thought people would actually come to drink them. <laughs> but hey, who am I to judge? <laughs> anyway, take a look at this one. All right, birdie. Do you want the ski mask? I fucking What do you say? 
Well, you I think it hides your stats. Day. I think it hides my stats too. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Or would you prefer the mystery box? Oh god. I what mean, you want? hiding my stats isn't that bad. Mm -hmm. And my next two choices are boldness, which is kind of always going to be my highest thing. The box mm -hmm. might crater my stats. Yeah. What you want? I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a ski mask. I'm gonna yeah. do it. I'm gonna get this. Yeah. No. Totally. I was testing your common sense. <laughs> <laughs> and you passed. The prize is the drinky joes. Oh. Meow. Oh man. Ah, oh, nice. I Box need this. Day. Will you take the drink of the day? Or would you prefer the mystery box? Take the box. Taking it. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. I was just need common sense. And you passed. Your prizes are the drinking shows. How about you, Nanette? Oh. Do you want to have some fun? Oh. I have no idea what that is. What do you say? We'll take the drink of the day? Would you prefer the mystery box? Do you want the mosquito in a bottle? Or do you want the box? What, what do you do want, Aaron? I don't know what this does. I have no mm, idea what that does. Do we, do we go crazy or do we not go crazy? Mmm. Mm. Fuck it. I mean, me and Spence both played it safe, but we also have no idea what this drink does. So. Cowards. <laughs> yeah, man. Damn right. So wait, no. No matter what I do, I'm being brave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. Um. I don't trust the box. You want to go over the box? Yes. Oh. The box. Pop. Hot <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know what that does either. Yeah. The mystery box. So bold of you. It's true. Hope you're happy with it. No refunds. Drink it. <laughs> Drink it in front of me. <laughs> oh, butthole. <laughs> ah, the love potion number nine. The right way to get someone to like you is by, uh, that is more is by being yourself and finding someone with whom you can match. But the fast way is by drinking this drink. Wee. Heck. Give me them hearts. The hot shot. I managed to turn a demonic blood pact into a spicy drink. You mm. drink this one with a friend, okay? <laughs> Each one of you absorbs the strongest stat of the other one. <gasps> oh. You should rob Spence and you know it. Oh, no! <laughs> what will you do, Aaron? <laughs> so, if you absorbed my strongest stat, you would take away my boldness. Um, and if you absorb... I don't know if it's absorbing. Answers, it said absorb. Hmm. Yeah. You would I'm take Spencer's charm, say... which Aravi likes. Oh. I'm gonna say... Spencer. Uh... <laughs> he has enough. But charm! <laughs> 26 charm! Oh. Oh no, I'm no fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you. No, yeah, you got not. 29 fun now, bitch. God damn. You, uh, you kind of needed that fun there. That's fun. wild. <laughs> that's right. so fucking wild. Yeah, yeah, fuck. Yeah, that ski mask. That ski mask is imbued with magic, my friend. <gasps> it's a magical object to let someone go incognito. Oh. What did you just drink? And I guess your inner stats will go incognito now. Ah! You're, just, you're supposed to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you can stomach that. Happy trails. Now. <laughs> All right, choose the food. Uh, Damn it! No, I did it last time. It's got me eating them right now. Hmm. 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 Chicken pot pie. Ham sandwich. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron? Aravi. Oh. We're getting a Aravi. Wow. Oh. Dirty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, All right, I'm locking in. <laughs> Player ah, is yes. <laughs> based on which food is most likely to be actually sent to you. Wow. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's fair. Holy <laughs> shit, you win, Aaron. <laughs> all right. Fucking. Mm -hmm. What was my food again? Fucking. Oh shit. Uh, chicken pot pie. What you right. said. And I said, I said him seeing image. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well. Well. None of those are good. What do you think, chat? <laughs> yeah, chat. Aaron, make them vote. Ah. 
Come on, Night Shadow Dragon Slayer. Mm. Oh, good night, Night Dad, Shadow Dragon Slayer. We love you so much. Pie. Mwah. Pie. Feel the same. Oh, yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. Three votes for pie there. Random. Well, if we do random, then Aaron's not gonna win. I know. Yeah. Um. And pie. Pie. One minute. Yeah. See, this is how you get them to vote. Start poll. There you go. Pie v sandwich. All right, everybody. There's a there's a poll. Which is eviler? Which is more likely to be sentient and try to destroy humanity? Mm -hmm. Which one? Each of you two can vote as well. We're obviously going to vote for your thing, but you know, if you want to. Suppose you're there. <laughs> I, I see you, Tucker White. Don't worry about it. I got you, bitch. I see you. Mm -hmm. It's a close one. It but is. Pie, is, pie is pulling ahead. No! With only, with only Come on. Less, less than 30 it's seconds my left the clock. Y'all can't do this to me. It's my birthday. Yeah, but pie though, a chicken pot uh -huh. pie though. Yeah, but pie, so ham lead sandwich ten though. Ahead. Just, just less than ten ahead now. Sixty forty split. Can we get there? Come it's on. Looking like this is gonna be pie's game, ladies and gentlemen. No, come like on. Pie is gonna be the evil one here. Oh, there's get that fucking sandwich. Very little time come on. left. Does that look? It looks like pie's gonna I'm win. Furious. Pie takes it. Pie takes the win. I'm so upset. Noodles for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're doing it. We're punching the end, dog. All right, Chungus, where do you want to go? I'm gonna go to the fucking lake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, that day at the lake, you get too fun. Good job. Crazy. You Crazy slip away with a Robbie to help her train up her dexterity by repeatedly shooting at her with the potato gun. Hex sense. keeps eating the potato bullets, but uh, so nobody's learning anything. But you, but you still having a good time, Win. Hey, why is there a lump in the grass over there? And why is it giggling? Yeah, what's the big idea? I'm the only giggling green lump around these parts. <laughs> no, 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 Hex, don't you see? This must be a wandering monster about to start a random encounter. Quick, let's get to jump on it with knives. <laughs> Robbie's just finished rummaging through her inventory for a knife that does double damage against green when the That's... lump unfurls to reveal itself. <laughs> oh, God. Stop! Don't Damn stab! It. Don't you recognize me, Aravi? I can't remember the voice I do for him. But... Hex? <laughs> Wait, this sudden green lump can't be Hex. Hex is right here, attached to my soul like always. Are you sure about that? Uh, maybe that's not Hex. Maybe uh, a bear in disguise. It's been known to happen. Duh, I know that. I'm a wildlife expert. There's only one solution here, and it's to stab both of you. Yeah, that's a great idea. I don't give a shit about being stabbed. <laughs> uh, wait, I mean, uh, <laughs> I fooled you. It was me all along. Counselor Flodge? You tricked me again with your mastery of stealth. <laughs> I'm actually glad to see you, though. I've been looking everywhere. Uh, but you didn't find me. Uh, you No matter how much you level up your search skill, old Counselor Flodge will always be one step ahead. No other counselor is less accessible to campers. Wow. That's exactly why I wanted to talk to you. I need some disguise advice. You see, I'm planning to video chat with my grandma later, and... You want to disguise yourself as her, so she'll be impressed by your mastery of the art of disguise. You've come to the right place. Oh no, I have a problem. See, Grandma doesn't know I've got a curse, and I'd like her to keep not knowing. Oh, bless you, Robbie! Uh, yeah, I mean, we're great pals and everything, but we both agreed we're not ready to take the next step and meet each other's families. <laughs> wow. But it's not like I can just stuff Hex back into the cursed necklace from whence they came. I need a way to hide them in plain sight. Before Counter Lafarge can jump in with some dumb bullshit about changing Hex's skin color to match the, the, match the environment, <laughs> you jump in with an, ex uh, with an excellent suggestion of your own. Disguise Hex as a new hairstyle that Grandma is too old to understand. Or ah. use a spell to confound Grandma's uh, already not so great senses, so she won't even notice Hex is there. So mm. the second one is smarts. Mm -hmm. This is probably fun. Mm -hmm. I'm pissing my cereal. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm fucking Jiminy Cricket's bad man. As <laughs> <laughs> a new hairstyle that Grandma's too cool to understand. Yeah. Yeah, that seems fun. Or creative. It think. could be creative. But it sounds fun to me. Mm-hmm. 
The bottom one's either smarts or creative. I'm pretty confident it's uh, it's smarts because it's you casting a spell mm -hmm. um, um. using magic. Mm -hmm. Magic. Magic. You might be kind of fucking. I might my be boy. a little flubber trucked here, guys. I'm so far. I'm so fucking sorry, dude. I don't even fucking. This is just the, the the typical monster camp experience for me at this point. <laughs> no. Uh, let's commit to flipping a coal. Okay. All right. So sex or Robbie oh. loves me oh, 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 and oh, oh. no cash value. I think what? the first one is creative. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So fucking your your better score there is creative if you want to try that. All right, I won't flip the coin. <laughs> Hit me with it. <laughs> creative? <laughs> yep. So creative! Oh my god. <laughs> Thank god! It's a birthday miracle! Right? <laughs> oh. Miracles all around, boys! Oh, are you sure that'll work? Hex doesn't look like hair it'll totally work trust me old people have no idea what hair even is these days she'll have to take your word for it it's true even i a hip boomer and a master of disguise <laughs> have difficulty distinguishing the the dread hawk from the waterfall braid and don't mm. even get me started on fortnite meme locks what the fuck? <laughs> all right i guess i'll give it a shot I'll get the video call set up. Hex, think hairy thoughts. <laughs> you look around while Ravi is setting up a laptop, and Counselor Flodge seems to have vanished. No, wait. He just ducked behind a trash can to peer, uh, to peer at you slyly. Anyway, Ravi's, uh, Ravi gets to the video chat going, and her adorable grandma appears on screen. She immediately notices Hex. Oh, Ravi, honey, what's that green thing floating behind you? Are you cursed? Baby, I warned you about unprotected adventuring. Wow. <laughs> what? No, that's not a curse. It's just my hair. It's a new style called... called... The Verdant Bagel Eater. <laughs> Goodness, so, so, says Robbie's granny. Hairstyles sure have come a long way since my day. Now we used to have to enchant the hell out of our hair to get that much volume. And even then, it never spoke complete sentences, just individual words in a maddening and abyssal tongue. Well okay. done, Ravi. Uh, glad you're wearing d uh, learning to slay in more than wa ways than one. Wait, you can enchant hair? What kind of what kind of bonuses does that grant? Ravi and a grandma dive into a detailed conversation about the stat enhancing properties of an of an appropriately fierce dew. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, afterwards, she even, she even teaches you a hairstyle that gives you plus two boldness and plus one fun. Yes, nice. bitch. Hell yeah. All right. Well, luckily I didn't need charm. <laughs> <laughs> you really kind of only fun? fucked yourself on that one. <laughs> like, goddamn. No, I don't need fun. <laughs> it's fine. Jeez, you have almost 30 fun and you don't need it. Jeez. I don't need it. I was oh. given all this fun. <laughs> it was a gift. Oh. A gift. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. I look love him. him. All right. Good job. You get too creative. Crazy. Uh, you're, you're taking a walk, which is your go-to excuse to, uh, uh, to get some good farts out. And when you see Joy and Scott, looks like they're wandering around with cameras and taking pics. <gasps> Again, heck. Hmm. Scott, I'm trying to get a good shot of the extremely dead possum over there, but I can't get the focus quite right. Any ideas? Uh, Coach always says that you gotta stay focused the whole game, even wow. if you think there might be a bone buried under the field. Does that help? <laughs> You've got a sufficient amount of farts out, <laughs> out for the time being, <laughs> so you wander over and ask what these two hotties are up to. Uh. <laughs> I love oh, this, the idea, the image of this little fucking octopus <laughs> thing. Just. God damn it. Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, it's 
Scott and I are just taking pictures for our photography class. Photography, I can't say photography for some fucking <laughs> reason. <laughs> photography. <laughs> photography keeps me slightly distracted from the constant, never-ending stress of my world-saving duties. And I hey. love taking pictures. You know that feeling when someone pats your head for being a good boy? If you take a picture, you can remember it forever instead of just 15 minutes. Mm. What are you doing here, Noodles? You're not by any chance. You can follow us around and try to get one of us to sleep with you. Click. <laughs> you start nervously sweating and assure Joy that you're not here to increase your stats until one of them agrees to bone. Uh, oh, you're not here because phone. you. You're here <laughs> no. because you. You, um. Because you also love photography. Yeah, let's go with that one. Uh, to prove it, you whip out your phone and show them all the pics you've taken of your semi-nude body. Wait, we're doing photography. That's the phone. Click. Phones <laughs> don't make pictures. Don't worry, it's an easy mistake to make. I get my camera confused with calculester all the time. <laughs> You show, you show Scott that your phone can indeed take pictures. You open your camera app, snap a picture of his tail, even though it's wagging a lot, and show it to him. Whoa, a phone can take a picture, and then it can also take a call? I don't know that one thing could do two things. Noodles, you're obviously some kind of photography expert, and you gotta check out my technique and give me coach tips to improve my form. Scott shows you enjoy uh, shows you enjoy his picture taking technique, uh, which is mostly just pointing at uh, pointing at shiny objects decidedly and throwing his camera at them. <laughs> Raven put a thing in fan art chat. And I sent it to y'all, and it's not okay. Yes. Uh, it's not okay. Oh, don't worry. Fuck. I'm still here. Love you. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Oh my, my boy. Oof. <clears throat> you tell it. Scott that you've got uh, that you've got a game-changing tip for him. He just needs to press the big black shiny shutter button on the camera. That's up to uh, that. Uh, that'll up his game for sure. What this one here? Oh my eyes! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, Scott. Yeah, that one. Have you not been pressing the shutter button? We've been out here for like three hours. God, it's no wonder you got an incomplete in our last assignment. Wait, so if you don't hit, if you hit the big button, the camera actually takes the picture? Before, I was just politely asking the camera to take it. My mind <laughs> is blown. What a oh. boy. Well, even I have to admit, that was pretty helpful, a pretty, a pretty helpful piece of advice. Fucking You can get there, speak. it's fine. Take your time. Thanks, Scott. I really need the support. Uh, I I'm, have trouble with words sometimes, too. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, 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 I'm gonna try. Here I go. Okay. I'm almost convinced you're not just here to sleep with one of us. Yay! Yay! I did it. Sleep with one of us. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, 100%. Yeah. So if you're really such a fan of photography, surely you can give me some pointers too, right? I'd love to learn from your expertise. Uh oh. Joy's calling you to bluff, and she'll be l way less easy to impress than Scott. You'll have to convince her you're a real pro, or you'll, yet again, be exposed as super horny. So, Noodles, why don't you tell me, what's your biggest photography secret? I cannot Shit. disclose photography's biggest secret, Joy. I'd be betraying photography's trust. Shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, so good. you'd know about the button to take pictures. But what about this other secret button? It's to take better pictures. Hmm. Let's mm. see. Bottom one seems like charm. Yeah. Mm. Shit. Actually, bottom one would be fun because it's ridiculous. Mm. Also, Raven, that's so good. They gave Ian 19 bottles and Isla only has nine. It makes sense. Ian could always outdrink Isla. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, the no. base, dude. That base, okay. dude. So I cannot disclose with photography's biggest secret joy. I'd be uh, betraying mm. photography's trust. Feels charming. Yep. Yeah, that's, which is a zero. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you know about the button to take pictures, but about this other secret button to take picture, bad pictures. I feel like the bottom was my safest cho option here. Is your call. I don't want to fucking steer you in the wrong direction. Sir Creative, nice. Ah! 
Oh, thank God. Oh, very funny. Obviously, there's no secret button on every camera. You're clearly just saying dumb nonsense to try to impress us. You insist that there is a secret button on the camera just for taking better pictures. You find a secret button, you've just, uh, uh to find a secret button, you've just gotta gently tickle the camera's prostate and... Mm. Oh, I found the secret button! Oh my goddess, are you serious? Wait, do cameras have prostates? Your compliments yep. got in his tickling technique. <laughs> jo <laughs> uh, Joy's camera is a little shy, but after a very mature discussion about boundaries, it opens up and reveals its secret button. Ooh. Prostates are also secret buttons. It's true. <laughs> that was a fun and kind of made me feel some strange new feelings. Hell yeah. Let's do secret button photography. Woo. Hell yeah. <laughs> Get a boy. You Scott and Joy take all the, uh, take all the, I'll take tons of pictures using the secret button on the camera. Due to the button's technical, uh, technological advances, they all come out awesome. Hell yeah. Joy takes a picture of a tree, and the secret button infuses the photo with the smell of the tree itself. It's so metaphorical. Uh, Scott snaps a picture while pointing his camera directly at the sun, but it ends up looking like a professional nature landscape photo. A big default computer background energy. Finally, nice. you take a picture with Joy. The secret button really makes it look like you two have hot sexual chemistry. Like two tadpoles mating under the gaze of a horny biologist. Wait, oh. tadpoles don't mate. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, Scott. L leave him alone. Wow, these photos are so evocative, don't you think? They're gorgeous. Click. <laughs> yeah, this is the first one I've ever taken that's been in focus and not a picture of my thumb. <laughs> Professor Lensbottom is going to be so proud of us. Thanks for all your help, Noodles, and thanks for your help, Secret Button, Damn. and thanks for your help, Prostate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love him so much. Mm. He's right. Thank you, Prostate. <laughs> you were really helpful. Thanks. I love you, Prostate. You make everything better. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry I was so quick to dismiss you at first. <laughs> I can't believe it, but you were actually right. I'm not used to being so competent. Wait, noodles of the you Prostate? <laughs> the Prostate. I'm talking okay. to the Prostate, yes. Oh, shit. Uh, you have oh, 30 hell, fun! Yeah, I'm 30 fun! <laughs> Oh, oh, hell yeah. oh, The 10 years you spent studying in that secret photography dojo really paid off. Uh, you gained two new Flickr followers, along with two smarts and one fun. Fucking nice. What the okay. hell do you want, Carrie? What? What? Oh, fuck. You're just being aggressive. Can I go to the yeah. Where the fuck do you want to go, bitch? I'm going to the me. Holy oh, shit, I, bitch! I, gotta, I can't see my stats, so I gotta guarantee my shit! You get two bonus, good job. Yeah. Ah, every day at Camp Spooky is truly a blessing. Today, that blessing is watching a demon fight a tree for looking at him the wrong way. Oh, ha! Shit. Take that, you stupid tree! That'll teach you for having eyes in your bark. Now that a, uh, that's a tree joke. <laughs> Suddenly, the earth trembles and lava spews forth from its depths as two figures rise from the deep. Dad, <gasps> what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, I want to think. Taking our number one son out for a family brunch, of course, and bringing our number one cool Josh along. Cool. Uh, so, is cool it Josh. even brunch time? Hey, cool Josh, how you doing? Good to see you. Looking well. What's so, well, so hot dads? <laughs> it's always brunch time when your dads are here. We invented <laughs> brunch. <laughs> This, he's got fucking he's got the fucking the body that I imagine a cross has. <laughs> she's got a little bit of the belly yeah. hanging out. Hell yeah. Like guns and pecs for days, but he just mm. didn't get at that core. He's just yeah. got the belly. Yeah. Fuck yeah, bitch. He's got that he's got the alcohol belly, you know? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, bitch. Uh, shall we away? Rhetorical question. I'm transporting us right now. No. You'll find yourself immediately whisk away, whisked away to a cute little diner not too far from the campsite. Ah, uh, isn't this nice? Who doesn't love family brunch? Just a couple royal demons from hells and a cool Josh. Oh, waiter! <laughs> a waiter approaches, seemingly concerned about the nature of this clientele. Holy shit, is that a fucking devil? <laughs> <laughs> It's well, all three of us. We'll have the steak, <laughs> raw, and a side of all the jalapenos you have in your entire restaurant. 
Oh, I should have you, Logan. night of my life, Lord of Hell, we'll have a bowl of whatever knives you have lying around your kitchen. Extra sharp. No ketchup. All right. Ugh, they're so embarrassing. I totally aspire to have what they have someday. Ordering for you, ordering for your partner is the ultimate proof of how well, how well you know them. Oh no. You don't need telling twice. You quickly order for Damien, knowing exactly what he would say. Fire, metal, vulnerability issues, crime, yeah! Or, mm -hmm. I know one delicacy Damien can't go a day without eating, but I don't think that'll be on the menu. Wink. Yeah. Top one. Tell us what it is. The top, <laughs> top one's bold, the bottom one's yeah. sure. Yeah, there you go. Bottom one's what? sure. So you're fucked. How, did you, how do you know about the LeVay chili? Damien, <laughs> did you reveal our family's greatest secret? <gasps> Never, Dad. Cool Justice knows me so well that she guessed exactly the elements I love most about it. My, my. You are an impressive partner for our darlingest Damien. Uh, I suppose we can't let you in on the process, since you're already so in sync. <laughs> in a pot of fire, in the deepest depths of hell, you throw in the most spicy and dangerous hell peppers, melting tons of actual metal to ensure healthful quantities of iron. Of course, of course. And yes. into the fire, we throw anyone suspected of committing crimes against the crown. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. These traitors have vulnerability issues in that they are vulnerable to the combination of fire and metal, mm -hmm. which is an issue because it kills them. Then, together as one, the entire family screams Gah! into the <laughs> pot to add the raw energy of anger and screams. It's our most secret ingredient. Hell yeah. Oh, dads. Just thinking about the Leve chili brings a tear to my eye because of how much I love it and because of how supernaturally spicy it is. Oh. I always look forward to assassination attempts against the crown since it means we're having a Leve chili night. Oh. The shame that means we've ate a lot of your rival's family. Really <laughs> <laughs> cool, Josh. <laughs> It is as if uh, it is. Is that the? the, 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 the I feel you. You got this. <laughs> Here, got this. Really cool, Josh. It is as if you were already one of the family. Anyway, waiter, who's been here the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any information? Me? Uh, no. Says the waiter, looking nervous that you might be thrown into a pot of hellfire for knowing you see the secret. Their uh, faces bummer. are so good. Mm -hmm. I can't. Do you have mac and cheese? <laughs> oh! They do! Apparently this is an okay substitute, and Damien and his dads are all very pleased with you. You and Damien split the mac and cheese, and you managed not to cry eating it, despite the insane amount of hot sauce he's added. Fuck. <laughs> all in all, the whole experience gives you two charm and one fun. I love him so much. I don't I know, know what do. to do. He's so good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, choose a celebrity. Um... Ryan Reynolds. He did it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, oh. Tom Holland. Nice. Mm. Tom Hanks. Oh. oh, hell yeah. Two Toms. Hell yeah. Hell. Yeah. Play your orders decided based on which celebrity is most likely secretly a pro rock, paper, scissors player. Tom Holland. Tom Hanks. <laughs> uh, that's fair. Ron Reynolds, though. Come on. <laughs> oh, these are all good, good options. Into a wedding and started bartending for no reason. <laughs> that's a just thing that happened. Just, I love Tom Hanks. <laughs> He's so a much. gem. He's a gem. Do, do we wish to rain them? I'm fine with that. Do, do it. Let's be the one that I'm in first. Damn yeah, it. bitch! <laughs> <Damn> it. <laughs> Always, it's always Aaron that gets fucked in these. I know the poor boy. Shit, this is the uh, last time we gotta do this one. Where are you going? Okay. Manner. Manner. Sure you don't want to save that boop. for. Mind your manners. Go <laughs> Oh wait, no, he needs fun. Yeah. Yeah, he needs fun. Yeah. yeah. All right, you get two uh -huh. fun Good, or two bold. Good job. Uh, you're job. hanging out with Damien, taking, uh, making two people dating, uh, totally dating, matching bracelets, just in case. Just in okay, case. next step, show me your bicep. Uh, we're getting two people totally dating tattoos. Hold still. Lucky sure, for you, that is the exact moment that the earth opens up and you're swallowed in hell. For most people, being swallowed into hell would not be lucky, but in this case it is. Oh. Hello, dear son. Mm. Prince Damien of the Eighth Circle of Hell. 
And hello, dear cool Josh, who is dating Prince Damien of the Eighth Circle of Hell. Hi. <laughs> we thought that since brunch went so well, we would escalate to the next natural stage of integrating with your significant other's family. Attending the opera together. Oh, no. Oh, the kings of hell snap their fingers and you and your, uh, you and Damien are both consumed by hellfire, but it doesn't hurt too bad. When the fire oh, stops... Changed. What? He changed his outfit, didn't he? Oh, he did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he did. When yeah. the fire stops, you're wearing, uh, you're wearing a killer outfit fancy enough yeah. for a he royal hell opera. Well, you... You look amazing. <clears throat> cool, Josh. Did it. You, you, you smile, knowing that Damien's near slip of the tongue to reveal your real name probably means he wants to give you a slip of the tongue. Hell yeah. If you know yeah. what I mean. Hell yeah. You're halfway through the first act of Die Flitter, uh, Flitter Moss. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, uh, <laughs> no when idea. suddenly a nearby ca uh, ca cock demon. Can, yeah. uh, a cock uh, demon, yes. A cock demon uh, starts having a medical emergency. <gasps> oh, no. oh no, that cock demon is having a medical emergency. And I believe he is part of our inf infantry. It's vital that we keep him alive. From over here, it looks like he's having some sort of brain crisis. Thank God you're here, cool Josh. Damon is always <laughs> texting us about what an amazing neurosurgeon you are. Oh, God. <laughs> yep, that is a thing I frequently say, that I'm so proud of your skills as a neurosurgeon. You're a neurosurgeon, cool Josh. <laughs> 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 ah, fuck. Cool Josh may have, may be a neurosurgeon, but Birdie sure fucking isn't. Uh, time to think. Uh, time to think fast. Good neurosurgeons sa save lives. Great neurosurgeons know when to separate their professional life from their personal life. Just say no. Hmm. A good neurosurgery is like jazz. Just grab a scalpel and improvise, man. The top one folds, so that one. The bottom one's creativity somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <sighs> wow. <laughs> You know, we were concerned about Damien dating someone with such time-consuming and high-stakes job. Not to mention the stereotype that surgeons are egotistical as well as preoccupied. We didn't want Damien doomed to have the cold, uh, a cold partner always prioritizing work over love. <laughs> but your willingness to let an innocent stranger die rather than interrupt your evening with your boyfriend <laughs> and his family proves that this isn't true. Hell yeah. I see a bright future for you, t for the two of you. With that future becoming brighter with every shriek of the de uh, Conquer Demon's loved one screaming for a doctor. You oh, would yeah. feel guilty about ignoring these screams, but you are not, in fact, a doctor. Oh, so there's literally nothing you could have done anyway. Instead, you focus your attention on clearly focusing your attention on Damien. Mm -hmm. uh, to prove that uh, to his parents that you can focus on Damien. Mm -hmm. Wow, cool, Josh. You sure are an attentive partner. Dads, aren't you proud of me for finding such an attentive partner? Mm -hmm. We're always proud of you, number one son. And we're proud of Cool Josh for being warm to you and cold to the dying. <laughs> <laughs> God damn! You have okay. a lovely night at the opera where everyone's singing about e extra lovely compared... Uh, bleh. Uh, where everyone's singing sounds extra lovely compared to the earlier screaming of the new presumably deceased co cock demon. Wow. Uh, uh, afterward, the King of Hell introduced you, introduced you to the whole cast, and they even let you stand on the stage. Oh. Damien takes your hand, perhaps to continue the illusion that you're fake dating, or perhaps because he wanted to. Uh, you hope it's the latter. You gain two bonus and one charm. Oh, um, it's so die, cute! Die Theater Mouse is a <laughs> opera, uh, also known as The Bat. It's a German opera. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh, nice. nice. Thank you. Nice. Well, here we go. Man, if I need charm for joy, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> and they said it was smarts and creativity, so it I did. think the, you're okay. the thing I was looking at did. At least. Oh. <clears throat> and I mean you got that fucking love potion, so you got a shit ton of hearts with her. Yeah. Hopefully so, like, that's enough. Come on. Watch you still not get her and we just just yep, we'll be just, so fucking mad. The uh, joke is that Joy is actually unobtainable in this game. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, I'm not looking for a relationship. Yeah. Fucking Joy. Okay, fucking killer. 
You're sprinting, uh, you're sprinting as fast as you can. <laughs> Little orphan Alan is stuck at the bottom of the well. You're the only one that can help. As you're running, you see Joy's son standing nearby. And she waves him, and waves you over. Yes! Joy's your number one ultimate summer crush, and you'll do anything for her. You completely forget what you were doing and run over. Of course. Oh! Sorry. Eagles yeah. all caps. That's the one that Batman loses his parents at. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Oh, I love it. <laughs> God damn it. Hey there. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey there. You weren't doing anything important, were you? At least, nothing more important than flirting with me, right? Holy Propane shit. Propane tank explodes. <laughs> All right, fuck. <laughs> By the way, sprinting shirtless and dripping with sweat isn't a bad look for you, Noodles. Damn. Just imagining the fucking the noodles, the little <laughs> tentacle boy, <laughs> little fucking jellyfish boy. Yeah. That black. <laughs> yes. 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 Sweat. Perfect. Perfect. Like an anime character who's talking to the crush. You are talking to your crush, but your eyes are way too appropriately proportioned to be considered anime. Mm. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that my screamo band, Ventagram, go with yep. that. Yep. Ventagram has a show tonight. We're playing that super gross pub nearby, the Piss Rack Bar. <laughs> you should come see us. You, yeah, you get to see me scream my guts out in a non-literal way. Oh, Damien and Dolly are in the band too. You kind of care about them, right? No pressure though. The pub technically has an occupancy limit of three people, so I can basically guarantee you'll die if there's even a small fire. Uh. Damn. <laughs> Eagle sent me a message. Is like, I don't know if I if I have Aaron on Discord, but goddamn, your dad, your guys' dad voices are just, oh, just fucking the fucking okay son, like em emoji, <laughs> like mwah, like the like, chef's yeah. kiss, yeah, hell just, yeah, dude, right, like, I'm six of them. dying, <laughs> dying. They're so uh, good. Oh, oh, thank you, Eagle. But absolutely Holy shit! Mine. Joy just invited you to go to a location, and she's going to be at, uh, and she's going to also be at that location. That's basically a date, as far as you're concerned. You cannot fuck this up. God. Later that night, you roll up to the piss wreck bar with a government ID and your thottiest concert outfit. As nice. soon as you go in, some uh, someone throws a glass of beer at your head. Every single surface of this bar is filthy and sticky. It's packed and everyone here is either very hot or very ugly. Uh, but they all look like they uh, they could beat your ass easily. Uh, mm. That is unquestionably the perfect uh, location for a Squeemo concert. The piss red bar shreds. Oh, and there's Joy. Oh, perfect band. Our anyway. squad. <laughs> this Absolute is our squad. squad. This is a squad. Anyway. Nailed it. Mm, look what the cat dragged in. Thanks for coming, Noodles. We're about to go on right after they finish setting up Damien's drum rig slash flamethrower. <laughs> Hell yeah, bitch. Get it. And my mega explosive drum set. It weighs 3,200 pounds. It's also a harpoon gun. And it's illegal. Ventagram is life. <laughs> Fuck yes! Ventagram fucks hard! Ventagram is violence! Come on, Dahlia, we gotta do our pre-show tradition, fighting the audience! <laughs> Hell yeah. Die! <laughs> ah, die. <laughs> ah, she just screams in Scottish! <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm happy that you made it, Noodles. Realistically, you probably didn't have anything else to do tonight, but it still means a lot. Damn. I should go do my vocal warm-ups, but I'll keep an eye out for you when I'm on stage. Cheer loud for me, MK. Man, previously unseen, thrown through a table behind her. Yo, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> wow, ah! you're definitely in love with this uh, with this goth witch. Ventum Graham is about to go on. Impress Joy by making sure the concert goes smoothly. And what are you gonna do to help? Uh, be the mic, uh, be the mic checker. Uh, you'll check Joy's microphone and make sure it's not poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> be the first clapper. You'll get the first. <laughs> you'll get the crowd hyped at uh, AF by nailing a perfectly timed first clap after every song. Hmm. I got nothing for either. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't fucking know, bitch. <laughs> 
Uh, and the fucking. The first one uh, sounds like fun or creativity. We must uh, be the evil. Mic. We are six, but all and we're here to kick your teeth in. <laughs> <laughs> Be the first clapper, you'll get the crowd hyped AF by nailing a perfectly timed first clap after every song. Hmm. Oh, man. One second, let me get my encore grenades. No, you be... The second one could be fun, maybe? And your fun's disgusting, so... It is. You know. It's gross. But I'm not entirely convinced it is... Uh... Fun. Bottom one could be charming as well. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. It, it like, seems charm is... like it's manipulating people. Yeah, fire people skills, good or evil. It's persuading, it's charming, it's lying, it's befriending, it's flirting, etc. If an option feels like an excuse to compliment the love interest, it might be charm. Okay, that could fall under charm, I think. Be the mic checker, you'll fall under. No, uh, you'll check. Which. My charm is zero. So. Uh... I'm gonna check the mic. So bold! Hell yeah, bitch! Ah, look at the little camp outfit! Yeah, it was definitely oh. charm. Oh! Uh, they're so good. They're all so good! Like good out! Camp badges <laughs> off. Yeah. Uh, I love them! Oh, goddammit. All right, shitheads. Hope you're ready for pure fucking rage. We are Venta! Before Joy can finish, you shove her out of the way, grab the mic, and announce to the entire audience that you are Vandergram's official mic checker. Obviously, obviously, you get booed. Oh, I guess that's actually kind of smart idea. We needed to check the sound before we started anyway. Good catch, Noodles. You tell Joy that you know nothing about screamo or bands or sounds in general. You hate to check the microphone for poison. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure we don't need you to do that. Actually, you know what? I'm entirely sure we don't need you to do that. And just to be sure, you give the microphone a big, slow lick. And suddenly, you start feeling very ill and dizzy. Shit! <gasps> is this thing actually poisoned? Oh, no! <laughs> suddenly, you hear someone from the audience shriek, No! I even pin! Cursed and insidious microphone Gasp! Is that you, Dr. Credius? And... <laughs> Magnormous, the <laughs> evil warlock, and all of our other villains from season three? What are you doing here? And why are you disguised as Screamo fans? <laughs> it's you, you foolish protagonist. <laughs> uh, we knew that you would have never, uh, you have, you would have your gun down at summer camp. Uh, so we banded together to defeat you. <laughs> <laughs> I dropped the suit in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Reveal your instruments and assemble your pad formation. Prepare yourself, Fender Game. We are unstoppable. Only the second pad, only the second shot ever heard could defeat us. Ha! I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> Uh, no, I knew you fucking said. <laughs> Dahlia, Damien, come on. Let's wreck these fuckers with noise. I was put on this earth so I could do metal shit like this. Yeah, Fuck were, yeah. Gird your fucking loins, piss wreck. <laughs> Ventagram oh. battles the villains. It's a violin as fuck, but Ventagram is killing, and the audience loves it. Joy hits a high note scream that just, uh, just as you pass out from the poison. When you regain consciousness, you find that you're still in the piss wreck bar, but you're being gently cradled in Joy's arms. Noodles, wake up. We won, and it was the most legendary concert of all time. Those aren't my words either. God showed up and told us herself. <laughs> if you haven't, if you hadn't checked my mic, I'd totally be dead right now. Thanks for saving my life, and thanks for doing it without stealing the spotlight. That was a nice touch. <laughs> and since you literally performed oral sex on a poison microphone for me, the least I can do is pay for your drinks tonight, oh. bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you spend all night celebrating with joy. The next day, you can't remember if she kissed you or if that was just a poison dream. But either way, you get too fun and what boldness. So, I got 32 fun. I need to point out in case people missed it. Mm -hmm. But 
Dahlia and Damien were both drumming. Both playing drums, yes. <laughs> they have two drummers and a singer in this band, and I'm fucking about it. It's a drummer like... with a flamethrower and a drummer with a harpoon gun and a That's singer. so good. <laughs> Best band ever! <laughs> Love them. All right, Chungus, you want to get more fun? Yep. <laughs> Oof. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. You're living your best camp spooky life when a Robbie sidles up to you, uh, looking a little more bashful than usual. <gasps> oh. oh, hey there, Chungus. Fancy seeing you here Hi. at this place where you <laughs> often hang out at this time, which I have taken note of. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I've enjoyed our adventures as of late, and I wanted to invite you on some sort of normal activity, like a shopping trip. But then I reminded her that she doesn't shop. <laughs> but then I realized I don't shop because I craft my own items, and that could be a romantic date as well. I mean, a productive time that will set us up to be well equipped for quests. She meant mm -hmm. what she said the first time. She definitely doodled a Ravi plus Chungus on her boots of potential marriage <laughs> plus three. Oh, no, you misread that because you were looking at it upside down because you were being clingy like always. Anyway, shut up, Chungus, are you in? <laughs> Take <a shoot. laughs> you just sat there like making a sandcastle. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, hell yeah, you are. Uh, uh, a Robbie sets up a crafting table and you prepare for some high quality equipment making. All right, so I'll kick us off. I'm going to combine Potion of Silence with Yeti Skin to create a cape of cloaking plus two. Nice. And then I'll use a broom, a feather, and a ring to craft a flying broomstick. Next, I'll put a car on a car and make a limousine. Nice. You jump in, combining a leather handbag with a very loud scream. <laughs> uh, with very loud. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, don't die! Spit to no. Degree bagpipes. <laughs> nice. I'll use pizza plus pineapple to create controversial food choice. <laughs> The two of you have a great time crafting. Occasionally, your hands brush against each other <gasps> as you reach for materials. Oh. And is a Ravi plushing? Oh. You're getting strong vibes that she might be into you, but she may be too shy to show say it outright. You should you should suggest crafting something sexy together. Uh, help you get your flirt on or whatever. Hell Use yeah. a personal lubricant on battle axe to craft a sexy battle axe. Oh. Or, Use horse legs on horse Blah. torso to craft to craft a romantic horse ride. Hell yeah! How the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds charming, maybe. I I I can't tell what the difference. I, I'm gonna. Them I is. know which one I'm picking, <laughs> but I just want to say, what, how am I supposed to even guess? Look <laughs> <laughs> oh axe. <laughs> Legs and torso. <laughs> oh. Both have to do with romance. One seems like it could be a stupid costume or an actual horse. The other one seems like I could kill them because it could be boldness for all I fucking know. But it's either boldness or charm, so loop me up, baby. <laughs> Hell ye, you bitch. Not so oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I knew this was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sexy battle axe? How could a battle axe get any sexier than it already is? I drew lips on it. Aww. Hey, you're always up for an adventure, right? Isn't exploring the unknown a sort of adventure in and of itself? That's deep, X. Let's go for it. Oh, no, she falls in love with the battle axe. <laughs> oh, no! You take some lube and rub it all over the axe, handle and blade. No, oh, uh, you, fuck. Uh, you show the axe to Aravi, who's blushing the hardest you've seen yet. Whoa, well, that looks incredibly dangerous. I mean, who rubs the lube all over the handle of a weapon? That seems irresponsible. You agree with her, but add that danger is incredibly sexy. To prove your point, you even you add even more lube to the handle because doubling down is always the solution. <laughs> you hand her the X so she can see for herself. Unfortunately, the sexy danger you spoke of proves to be dangerous. <laughs> Who could have predicted such a thing? 
She fumbles and tries uh, repeatedly to catch it, but it ends up lodged blade first into your chest. Oh. Aravi tries to pull the axe handle out, but it's so slippery that the devil lube that she just can't, uh, can't get a good enough grip. Oh no. This is rough. Also, why does it smell so weird? Uh, through your screams of pain, you tell her that the lube was coconut scented. <laughs> oh, that's what that is. I was craving ice cream and I couldn't figure out why. Can we get some coconut? Da, 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 da. Can we get coconut ice cream? <laughs> mm, that does sound good. And I'm, and I'm not having any luck getting the axe out of Chungus anyway. So yeah, it's not it. like I'm really needed here. <laughs> hey, All right, let's get some ice cream. Good luck, Chungus. Maybe don't put lube on weapons on future quests. Let's go put maraschino cherry on hot fudge to craft delicious sundae. Fuck yeah, oh, yeah. bitch. It doesn't take long for word to spread about the lubed, uh, lubed up battle axe embedded in your chest. Soon, all the knights from neighboring kingdoms yeah. come to summer camp to try their hand yeah. at this mythic task of Hell pulling yeah. the sexy battle axe from the sexy wounded torso to become sexy king of all England. Also, also thank you for the 100 bits, Scotty. Aw. Also, Says, yes. Heckin' ro Rojaxis. Heckin' they do make coconut ice cream because they make it with coconut milk instead of uh, normal milk. And it's bro, actually you can make some crazy so ice cream flavors. fucking mm. good. It's Hell so yeah. good. There's like, London oh. Fog ice cream, like, not super far from here. Yeah, dude, that's, like, yeah. Bride's favorite because she got it at, at Rainer Shine. Yeah. And she's like, Yeah, Ugh. I tried some. It was, it was pretty good. That's pretty good. Heckin it, ta but it takes days, but one night finally frees the axe and is accepted as smoking hot monarch and the sponsor representative of Gamelot Lube Incorporated. Uh, good for them, but you've ripped, you bled out and uh, <laughs> alienated Aravi, so you still lose two smarts and one charm. Oh, oh no. no! You lost charm! Yeah, but you didn't get any fun. <gasps> Oh heck. Where you going? You prefer I didn't lose any fun, so you know that works out. Yeah. You ask my boy Damien. You ask him. What? Aravi? I'm gonna kill you, you ask Damien, you son of a bitch. None of them! I'm going to Crazy. kill you. Ask Spencer <laughs> fucking ask Damien! <laughs> Noodles! Alright, Joy, I swear to God. I am noodles. I like that you well, float. So that means when you run, yeah. you like, how are you exerting yourself? Oh, Ravi, I need to be rejected. Let's do this. <laughs> no, it it's might okay. Be I'll me. probably be joining you. I'm going no. first, so I'm probably oh. joining you. Oh. You finally gather the courage and ask your beloved to watch the media shower with you. You want to be a summer fling? I don't know. It's true that I need new plot lines and challenges for next season. But I don't think dating someone very unappeal <sighs> You bitch! I hate it. Unappealing so much. is the kind of challenge the audience wants to face. Why? What do you want? Sorry, uh... my compressor's not working. I shouldn't yell that loud, but I'm very upset. You're fine. <laughs> Thanks for suggesting it. I know you had the best intentions in mind, but I think I'd rather battle an army of fallen angels or a very big, very mean armadillo. <laughs> 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 after being rejected, you spend most of the media shower crying alone in your tent. Some days after that, the police come after uh, come to your place. Uh, apparently, one of the ca uh, one of the campers at Camp Spooky was brutally murdered during the night of the media shower. Uh, that uh, they're checking on everyone, but most people have an alibi, as they were not on it as they were on a date with someone else, but not you. Oh, you no. end up in jail, reminded of another perk of getting a date. It makes a good alibi. <laughs> oh. Dame Dane. I hate her so fucking much. I know. <laughs> Dude, you always start the game being like, I'm gonna get joy. And then like two steps in, you're like, fuck you. I just like, want the, the fucking picture of her. I think the worst one we did was when I did that one run where I got everything correct. Yeah. I like did a whole route I never fucked up mm -hmm. and she's like ah, eat it like she had the entire bit where she's like can you be my love interest for this new season I'm really into you gosh I like right? you so much I'm mm -hmm. like you want to go to the meteor shower she's like fuck you right it's like god damn it uh, I hate her so much hate her <sighs> you finally gather oh. the courage and ask your beloved to watch the meteor shower with you wait you want to be my summer fling <laughs> OMG I mean, I guess yeah! so. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I hate my fucking life! <laughs> I'm so 
The player! <laughs> but not because I actually like you or anything. That'd be ridiculous. Uh... I mean, if anything, I'm just going out with you so I can learn your weaknesses and, and plot to kill you. Yeah, I'm not emotionally vulnerable. I'm just using this as a perfect cover. It's a date! Oh, oh, you're so cute! <laughs> the last day of camp was awesome. And during the media shower, Ravi keep, uh, keep list, uh, oh yeah. Ravi keep listing adventures you two could go on during the fall. Aww. It sounded like a lot of stuff that could get you easily killed. But hey, it was implied she wanted, uh, she wanted for you to remain in contact for the time being. You told yourself that, uh, continuing to see her was going to be the most exciting adventure of them all. No. I'm so proud of you, Aaron. But I'm so I'm fucking so bitter. Proud, Aaron. <laughs> the uh, first yes, I've got in Monster Camp. I oh, know. Finally. You this. A burn a miracle. <laughs> uh, uh, all this fake dating has been fun, but you finally decide to tell Damien your feelings by inviting him to watch the media shower together. Oh. Hey, Birde. So What? Oh, I, I actually really love that. These past few weeks, I've realized that fake dating you was actually nice. I gotta admit, I caught myself thinking about how the real thing would be. Oh, I... it's a fanfic coming to life. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I can't keep living this lie anymore. I think it's time to tell my dads the truth. Oh. The two travel oh. to the depths of the uh, of the hell, the, the depths of hell to face the king and king of the eighth circle of hell. Damien and Cool Josh, what a pleasant surprise. What are you doing down here? Has something happened? Oh. Actually, I have something to confess. This is not Cool Josh. Her real name is Birde. I lied about da dating Cool Josh at first, and I felt embarrassed. So I asked Birde here to pretend to be Cool Josh. But, but now we're going on a date, and I thought it was good to tell you who she really is, in case we make plans together again. Damien, we always knew. Knew what? it! Knew it! <laughs> of course, sweetie. You told us Cool Josh was a pure, was a wear pelican. And, well, <laughs> Birde is not much of a pelican, is she? Uh, so we turned to the internet and found out that this thing all young people seem to love now. Fake dating into real dating. About it, yo. Mm -hmm. We didn't know about it in our generation, but we figured if this is what makes Damien happy, then we're on board. Uh, we even did some research by reading some fanfics to understand the whole thing yes, better. Yes, you did, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We even came up with some funny scenarios to make it a very good fake dating into a real dating scenario. Oh my god, I love them so much! Oh, that's so even. good! <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> but to be honest, it was kind of fun. Hey, we're fun dads. Dads! <laughs> Oh my God, my Damien God. is dad's hog. Now this is a beautiful thing to see. Accepting, loving parenthood. You end up going to the media shower, Damien. It's sweet and simple, as if you're standing, uh, you're starting your relationship all over again. So this time, you just hold hands and bask on the vastness of the starry night. You all go, you'll go on a date. Uh, you'll go on dating. You'll meet his dad's many more times. To this day, they still refer to you as Cool Josh as an in-joke the four of you have. Oh. It fills you with warmth to, to have become part of such a hellishly wonderful family. Oh my god. Oh, that was so good. Yes, bitch. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. It's all I wanted for my birthday. It's all I wanted. Uh. It's all I wanted. Uh, 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 I'm so happy. Love it. All right, I'm fucking. I'm, I'm ending cutscene, huh, boy? Oh, jeez. Fucking skip. Oh, man, what did we unlock? We unlocked the the du perignon. Perignon. Perfect. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, that's all we got. New stuff. Heck yeah! New stuff. Get that uh, gallery. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Yes. Oh, we did get a calculus for secret ending. Cool. Oh, did we? Apparently, yeah, it's got an image I there. Grow up a little bit. Oh. <gasps> you want to see a Ravi in the bath, yeah? Yeah, right, 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 yes. Yeah. Down, down a little bit. Oh, Let's go down. Uh, down again. Uh, down down more, again. Down again. Down again. There, uh, there you go. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, bitch. I think I, I think I, 
is doing that one. Oh, so cute. Scott. Uh, yes. <laughs> what? He's drowning. Oh my god, he is! <laughs> the boy! <laughs> Why do they put all this water in the lake? Uh, <laughs> oh, the boy. Oh, uh, that's so good. Oh, fucking this dolly is one of my hair. Ones. It's very good. Yes. 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 Oh, look at all the shit you unlocked. Oh my god. Look at all this bullshit. My Fuck you. Goodness. Uh, Fuck you. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want from me? What do you want from me? Scat. Perfection. Absolute perfection. I love you, Polly. I love you, Polly. I love you, Polly. Oh, we got the dance. Oh, my God. I'm so proud of us. Yeah, when when uh, do we get secret uh, Heckid fairy route where we get to hang out with uh, Robbie's therapist? Right? Yo, right? Yeah. Fucking Nora? Yeah. Bitch, you right. Where? I don't really get, oh. to get out that often. I'm always in a bottle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice to meet people. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of items we can unlock. Ooh. Well, no, these are just uh, things we've picked, and it just shows us what the stats are. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Well, we cheated that anyway, so. That's fine. <laughs> it's a new way it. Ooh, there's some stuff in special stuff. What's in special stuff? What's in special stuff? Fucking some small this. birds. No. <laughs> They're so cute. The best love interest. Too adorable. <laughs> oh, oh, hell hell unique, yeah! Uh, unique CGs. That's so good. Uh, yes, though. I'm very uh, proud of us. Oh, uh, the sexy bees! <laughs> I saw the sexy bees. bees. You, you like, like jazz? jazz? <laughs> <laughs> you like yeah. jazz? Oh, we're doing it. I'm so proud of us. Wow. How could, how much do we have? Can we buy like new beverages? Uh, maybe. It's very possible. Dude, it's bullshit that like the genie flask is what you need for like almost all the secret items. I know. Items. So you can't oh, like do multiple the fridge. ones of that. Oh, the fridge! We have enough. Oh. We do have enough. I've got 1,500 of these. Just dream. Your wildest dreams and become, and become a fridge. fridge. Yeah. <gasps> Interesting. What's that item that you need for uh, uh, free drink? Uh, Ravi's. Let me double check for Ravi's oh, Ravi secret check. ending. Oh, there's the oh. Doom Perignon. The Doom Perignon. Yeah, there there's it is. a there's a Dahlia secret ending, but that's also the genie flask. Mm. Uh, heck, the one that you need for. Why Ravi's. can you buy ones you've already unlocked? Like, what? Uh, you can, because you just unlocked Doom Perignon, or did you unlock it to be bought? I unlocked it to be bought. I, yeah. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a glass of curse is what you need. Glass of curse. Yeah. Which I don't uh, think we've unlocked yet. I don't rightly know. Well, maybe. Uh, glass of curse. Boop. <clears throat> Not the bees. Not the bees. <laughs> nah, it doesn't look like it. Heck. Fucking fridge. Uh, well, that's upsetting. That's very upsetting. That's very, very Raven upsetting. Raven says go up. I saw it. I swear I saw it. I said. Glass of curse? Yeah. It's Hexoland. A redacted. Yeah. The full moon. No. Doesn't seem like it. Mm -hmm. Nah, I haven't unlocked it yet. Okay. No. Heck. Definitely not. Well, no dick. To study to. Yep. It just changes just the music. Got random doodles. Oh, yeah. No. Farewell. Up setting. Got all right. Our side. Well, well, we went like almost an hour <laughs> over. So, like you know. <laughs> yeah. Thank you all for joining us for hacking Yee. for Monster Camp. Yee. We're gonna hack it into YouTube recording here because uh, that's probably a good place uh, to end it. We've been going for a bye while. Bye, YouTube. <laughs> so. We love you. So <laughs>